Welcome, welcome. Welcome home, baby. I like this kind of party. Putting the fun in dysfunctional. Yeah! Yeah! Each and every weekday morning, the Pat and Aaron Show. It's a little too early for being that loud. Good morning, Tampa Bay. And here we go. Now your host, Pat Donovan and Aaron Jacobson. Let's roll. Let's go, goons. Good morning. Why am I excited? Well, I'm here with you every morning. I love it. It's the best thing about my life. But also, and yes, Pat Donovan on vacation. It's me, Aaron Jacobson, and Casey Warner. The madness is upon us. We are here. And it is so, it's like a roller coaster. You have the conference championships. Those tournaments are great. And then you go right into, like, you get a, a little breather. Start your week off like we have. And then today, we've got some play-in games starting tonight. And then on Thursday is when we will see the first round tip off. And I got to tell you, it, it morning radio has always been my dream. I've always wanted to be, I'm a morning guy. I used to do morning radio down the hall at News Radio WFLA with Jack and Ted. And then I would do the midday show with Pat when we eventually got the gig. I loved middays, right? Jay and Z are a great spot. There's nothing better than mornings. But the one thing I miss about middays is w the nonstop action when the NCAA tournament starts. And at 12 o'clock, you basically got all these games starting. And that, to me, golf in the midday show when a big golf tournament was going on and I was, I could get some good action, but also the number one is the NCAA tournament. So starting today, we've got a lot to run through. Nick wise will be in studio at seven o'clock. We're going to, and then of course it's blue steel Tuesday. So Braden Coburn's going to join us as he does every Tuesday at eight o'clock. So we've got a lot going on today. We're going to give you our final four picks. We're going to break down some of the seeds, some of the regions in the tournament we're going to gamble. Yes, Casey Warner, we're going to gamble. I got the app back. It's all good. Let's let's gamble, baby. Let's go. All right. Yeah. We're going to do it. And I've got to... And we got a lot to get to. I'm going to get to the March Madness in a second here. Today on the show, best GM in town. Great discussion we're going to have. Nick Wise has a point system. So we're going to break down who the best general manager in town is. Rays, Bucks, Lightning, you want to throw the Rowdies in there? I got to find out who that GM is, but we'll throw that in there. Why not? Why not? Best GM in town. We will get to our final four predictions. Also, a question I asked on Twitter last week, and I got some good response. And for me, it's been a long time, but we'll ask you the question. Maybe it's been more recent for you. Have you ever cried because of a sporting event? Good, happy tears, sad tears. Do sports bring that emotion out of you? We'll get to that a little bit later on. And, of course, like I said, Blue Steel Tuesday with Braden Coburn. But, Casey, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Every year I try to find the golden approach to, to, to March, to how I'm going to attack the NCAA tournament. Last year I went big on the brackets, busted early. Big on the brackets, busted early. When you go bracket and you bust early, you're, it ruins everything. It really sets a bad tone. Well, it, it ruins everything if you have a team that you're very, you know, high on, like a team that you really think that you're going to put money on or that you really believe is going to win it. Or second of all, if you're passionate about, like if they're your favorite team. So, like, for example, last year, I believe I had Purdue winning in my bracket. And it, they, it's what scares me about Purdue. That's a yeah. perfect example yeah. of what I was going to use, Casey. They and I've got my final four today. Spoiler alert. Yeah, Purdue went down early and Kentucky went down early last year. So, yeah, I, w I was pretty upset about March Madness last year. But I, I'm feeling like this year – the odds are going to be in my favor. If so. you well, yeah, I keep thinking that until uh -huh. until the first round is yeah. over. You know, people do. If you go chalk, with, meaning you go favorite, and a lot of people do. And I looked at my and every year I'm like I'm not going chalk. And this year when I'm breaking down some of my brackets, I'm like I ended up with high seeds once again. Yeah. But you look at the last couple of years, it's just not how it goes. You look at FAU last year. You look at St. Peter's a couple of years ago with the Elite Eight. You look at Loyola Chicago. Nobody had those guys going late. And if you have a favorite going going the distance and they get knocked out by one of those teams, those Cinderella's early, and every year there's a Cinderella. And especially now, it seems like with the talent so evenly dispersed and spread out throughout the country and throughout these universities, all these programs look pretty good. 
it's really, it, it can bust your bracket and ruin the mojo and the vibe of what we're trying to get going here. And I don't think I'm going to allow that to happen to me this year. I'm not going to get sucked into all the brackets. I Because th- if you have too many brackets, and everyone knows this because you've done this before. I know you have. If you do too many brackets, you get conflicting games. Whereas what I mean by that is maybe one game you have, you know, in the first round, you have one team, but in your other bracket, you actually have that team losing. So you don't know who to root for. It's like me with fantasy football every year. I tell myself I'm going to be in one or two leagues and I end up in five or six and then I got players playing each other and I don't know who to root for. You don't know who to sit. You don't know what to do. It's a whole mind mess. And I just can't handle that. I'm not built for that and I'm not going to do it this March. I'm not going to fall into the bracket trap, the bracket busting trap that I fall into every year. I have two brackets so far, just two. What do you, how many do you want? I think I just want to keep it that way. I two, think or, two or three. Three's max. Yeah. Max it at three, and, and you can't really be conflicting. You can do one crazy one, but you really have to stay, I think, pretty consistent. Maybe a change for a team here or there, and I would do it later rather than early. Like, stick with your conviction on who you like mm-hmm. to, to, to make a good run. I think I'm just going to gamble this year. It's legal yeah. now. I, I that's, that's where my brain is taking me. It's saying, Aaron... Just put a hundo on this guy. Put a hundo on that guy. I don't know if I'll be able to pull the trigger, but in my mind, for some reason, I've already gotten a lot of money. I don't know. That's a dangerous thing to do because I got Vegas coming up. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill this tournament. I'm gonna dominate this tournament. The Hard Rock Bet app is gonna be so mad at me by the end of this. It's such a bad way to go into this. So I'm trying to get my mind right getting into these games. Did you uh did you see the email sent out to all of West Florida, the iHeart bracket challenge? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, that was sent out yesterday and I flagged the email because I wanted to do it, but I have a big dilemma here. It says in order to do it you have to pay I think it's ten dollars for one bracket, fifteen for two, twenty for three. And the only way you can pay is by sending some dude your money with Venmo or Cash App. Is it and- for I like where, who do you send it to? I Heart West Florida. It's like the whole West. You can trust that. I do that when we do lottery. Well, the tickets. thing is, is that I, don't, win. I don't have Venmo more cash yet. I got you. Let me know. <laughs> I'll send I'll yeah. send it for you. For, I for real. You. I got you. Yeah. Um, I'll do that. I'll do a couple. Oh, let's go. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll do, how about we bundle it together? All Ka- right. Casey, why don't we there go on it together, man? Hey, let's do it. It makes We're, me feel a lot better when we lose. We, let, go, we go up as a team. We go down as a team. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Let's get three. How many for three? I think it's 20. I'll have to go look again. Though. Let's get three, and yeah. me and Pat and you, Pat and I will put 10. We'll cover you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're good. You're set. And mm-hmm. then we'll we'll have three for the show, and we'll figure we out. We'll, we'll each fill out our own, and we'll see who wins. Heck, yeah. And whoever wins gets the most amount of money. Out of, out I of like it. And then yesterday we also had that little, I guess it was Nick was putting up graphics for our picks, and I sent him my picks through email. And I believe when I sent him my email, my picks were, I know I had Kentucky. All right, here it is. So. I, you, you and Chris Mathis have the very similar and very interesting Final Four, and I was ready to yeah. make fun of it, but I also realized that because of how weird it is, it will probably be the winning well, one. Well, what I was thinking in going through this is, is first of all, who everyone else is going to pick, because I know that since I'm a Kentucky guy, no one's probably going to pick Kentucky. You know, we got Tommy Chuck, we got Ronnie Lane, they're Tennessee guys. I kind of like that bracket, though, for Kentucky. That's what I'm saying. So I'm liking that. And then my final four that I sent to Nick was Iowa State, Baylor, Kentucky, and Creighton. Hold on. We got, we're doing that in the... Oh, okay. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I like this, actually. All right. Casey Warner's going to kick us off with his final four. I stepped all over it, Casey, because I was get, I was like, he's, 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 we're going to do this later. Hold it back. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm going to do mine later. Nick's going to okay. do his later. We'll get Braden Coburn to do his yeah. later. But right now, to kick us off, to start this 6 o'clock hour on this show on Tuesday, March 19th, a beautiful day, a little brisk outside. Casey Warner, get us kicked off. Who's your final four, buddy? I got Iowa State, Baylor, Kentucky, Creighton, all two and three seeds. I like the Iowa State. I like I, I like I like that team. Um, you've got Creighton. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it, but I, I got Creighton. They're the three seed in that bottom left bracket. They're and, battle uh, tested. I'll yeah. tell you that. Like they, yeah. those teams, like Creighton. You go look at that schedule and who they played. They're battle tested. Um, they're ready for the tournament. So mm-hmm. I kind of like that. They're not my final four. I do have them advancing quite a bit, but not to my final four. Yeah. We'll have the rest of, for those, uh, rest of ours for you a little bit later on. 
Um, all right, so I guess those are my three brackets, Casey. The iHeart brackets. Nick Wise sent me one from WFAN in New York this morning. Twenty five bucks per entry. I think I'm. I'm I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to stick to the gambling this year. See, that's the best though. When you get sent like a random bracket challenge and you end up winning, and everybody's like, "Who is this guy? Like, where did he come from?" You know, and that's that's you're right. It could put you on the map in the Big Apple. That's right? that's a good point, but. I was looking at the Hard Rock Bet app, and you can just parlay each region. You're winners of each region. Man. Like you can pay if you like your Final Four, pick that and go win a boatload of go money. Go win a roof. That's that's go win, win a roof. roof right I'm good, Casey. I'm gonna win a roof. Uh, hey, I'm I on saw my the way. parlay you had last night. I think it was like plus like seventy two thousand or something. Yeah, it was it was thirteen dollars to win one point something million. There it is. Um, I tried, I put the exact amount. It was like $13 and 62 cents just to get me over the million mark. Uh-huh. I hit a lot of those last night. Cause I was trying to build it up before the, the tournament. I had some tournament picks. Yeah. I lost, I had Calgary, but I hit everything else. I did pretty uh-huh. good. Uh, but yeah, we'll give you our final four picks a little bit later on. We're going to be talking brackets. We've got some Rays news. We've got some Bucks news as well. The Bucks making some key signings, uh, to really bolster their depth. So we will get into that. Want to remind everyone you can watch the show. We are streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Just search W D A E. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a camera in the producer room with Casey. So in the penalty box. So you're stuck with me. You're stuck with my face until Nick, Nick gets here at seven o'clock, and then Kobe as well. Braden Coburn at eight o'clock. You can text the show eight two nine four five. Start your text with D A E. Like Mark and Oldsmar. Getting started early. He was getting going late last night. I don't yeah, know if you was. saw the video. Oh, man, on Twitter. He is, uh, he, Mamola re, uh, quoted, yeah, uh, he did. replied to the tweet like, drugs are bad. Getting some engagement. We like that <laughs> from so, Mark. Way to go, Mark. You're really good. I did, still can't figure out what it was. It was just like a guitar rift. Over I just, something. Every time I get tagged by Mark and Oldsmar, I just see a paragraph of names tagged, a little, you know, paragraph of text and then just a picture and I just automatically like it no matter what it is don't you know? like don't enable give, it gotta give him some engagement man no any, any like up. he tags Casey Hudson the sports oh, yeah. case everybody it, it's really embarrassing like well, if he hey. just tagged us like me you and Pat I'd be like alright this is our inner circle it's weird. We're all in this together, baby. We're yeah, one but big family. Gross feet guy is sending <laughs> videos to and tagging Casey Hudson. I, I don't know if I can have it. <laughs> just settle down over there, Mark. You can just text the show. It's it's a lot better than your tweets. All right, we got Casey uh, Warner, not Casey Hudson. Casey Warner's top headlines. What's making news around the sports world? That's next on the Pat and Aaron Show. From the whatever it takes, Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Authorities are on scene for a crash in Hillsborough eastbound on I-4 approaching McIntosh Road, so want to use some extra caution as you're moving through the area. No delays on the Howard Franklin Bridge, Gandy Bridge, or the Courtney Campbell Causeway. In Pinellas, they're working on southbound 275 through 28th Street South with the two left lanes blocked, and we're still getting those high wind warnings on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. See traffic troubles? Call the traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. With traffic, I'm A.J. Springer. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you. With Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Does your business need a reliable and trusted partner for network and information technology services? Look no further than Applied Innovations IT experts. Applied Innovation offers fully managed network services, a program where you outsource all of your IT needs to Applied Innovation. Partnering with Applied Innovation provides you with a suite of IT services, including managed backup and recovery, vendor management, a 24-7 help desk, and managed security. Network security is something all businesses should be concerned with. Hackers using ransomware can cripple a business both large and small. With Applied Innovation managing your network and data security, you stay one step ahead of potential cyber attacks. Want peace of mind? Want a partner that truly cares about your business and your future? Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. Applied Innovation, fast, friendly, amazing. 
Enjoy lunch or dinner today at Kelly's Roast Beef, the iconic taste of Boston, home of the original roast beef sandwich. Plus, authentic New England seafood, chicken sandwiches, burgers, dogs, ice cream, kids' meals, and more. All freshly made with gluten-free options, too. Dine in or drive through today at Kelly's Roast Beef. Mention this ad and get a free Kelly's scratch card for special discounts or free food. Stop by today at University and Honore in Sarasota and just northeast of Pasadena and Shore Drive in St. Pete. Kelly's Roast Beef. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. Takori and Viraggio are here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viraggio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viraggio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening this Friday through Sunday exclusively at International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota on approved credit. Hey, I got a question for you. You hate bending over to put on your shoes? Wish you could just put them on standing or sitting without ever having to touch them? If so, then I have the shoe for you. Introducing new hands-free Skechers Slip-Ins. With new Skechers Slip-Ins, you just step in and off you go. You don't even need to lace up. So how do Skechers Slip-Ins work? Well, there's a special smooth comfort pillow in the heel that helps your foot slide right into place. So just step in them and go. Find new hands-free Skechers Slip-Ins for the whole family at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. An iHeartRadio sports report presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like Freeform Radio. Search Freeform Radio and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. This report is sponsored by Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice is 100% juice, which means no sugar added, no high fructose corn syrup, and no artificial sweeteners. Kids love the full fruit flavors, and you'll love knowing you can count on Juicy Juice for the good stuff. Find Juicy Juice at your favorite local grocery retailer. Info at JuicyJuice.com. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today, and it's going to be cooler than it has been. Our high will reach right around 71. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Our low drops back to 51. Tomorrow, Wednesday, once again, mostly sunny. It's going to be warmer, though our high will touch 76. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Top headlines. That's right. Time for today's top headlines on the Pat and Aaron Show. Aaron Jacobson here. Pat Donovan taking the day off. Casey Warner, what do we got in the headlines today? All right. First things first, our old pal Blake Snell, two-time Cy Young winner, agrees to a two-year, $62 million deal with the Giants after three seasons with the division rival Padres. Big signing. In the MLB. Yeah, big signing, and this is a, a shoe that we needed to see drop. We've talked about Snell and Montgomery being two huge names that are still out there that could really help their teams out on the bump. Me, a more believer in Montgomery than Snell, but that's just me. But listen, this guy won the Cy Young last year. He was really, really good that second half of the season. He still struggles with, uh, you know, with his control and command. But for him, you know, he, he does these little deals, and this is the Scott Boris way. It is the short-term deal, higher average annual value, and that way he can enter the free agent market once again in a couple of years, and you know the money will be much different in just two years. So two years, $62 million, makes some good money, and allows himself to make even more money in the future. So we'll see what happens here. It's Montgomery still out there, but this is what Scott Boris does. He did it with Cody Bellinger. He did it with Matt Chapman, too. Man, these NL West teams are loaded. I mean, that's just an absolutely stacked division. Can we just take the last place team in the NL West and put them as first place in the AL Central and call it a day? No, like. no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because on paper, we say it every year, that division is stacked. 
and every year they seem to disappoint. I mean, I guess the Rockies are terrible, but yeah, and there's there's always a couple teams. And let me look just back last to uh, look back to last year, and you know the the Dodgers obviously dominate every yeah. year. The Diamondbacks came out of nowhere last year and had a, had a good finish. Uh, obviously, a good run in the playoffs. We all remember that. But the Padres, with all the money they spent, were a 500 ball club. Underachieved for sure. The Giants, who were so good early on in the year, ended up finishing under 500. The Rockies were terrible. So every year it seems like, yeah, the Dodgers and then maybe another team emerges, but they don't really do anything. The Diamondbacks being, you know, obviously going against that last year, not winning at all, but having a tremendous season. Diamondbacks, the surprise team in that division for sure, making the World Series. Now, Aaron, we did not get to this at all yesterday. I can't believe we didn't get to this. And partially it's on me for not bringing it up. But arguably the greatest defensive player of all time has retired. And that is one Aaron Donald. Yeah, I was shocked by that. So, in your opinion, is Aaron Donald the greatest defensive player of all time? And is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's not the greatest defensive player of all time. What he did at his position is incredible. To log as many sacks, to get after the quarterback from his position, um, it's it's really impressive the career he had. And it, 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 like, was he slowing down a little bit? Yeah, but not a lot. Like he's still a guy who could be extremely productive in this league. But, yeah, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer in my book, no doubt in my mind. Rookie of the year, eight first-team All-Pro selections, three-time defensive player of the year, 10 Pro Bowl selections, 111 sacks, and a Super Bowl ring. That might be the perfect career for a D-lineman, honestly. So congrats to Aaron Donald. Definitely going to miss you out there on my Rams. And to another pass rusher who's had some well, success. What is, well, sorry, before we get away from that, what did Warren finish with? Warren Sapp finished with under 100 sacks. Right under 100, and, yeah. And, like, to me, you know, nobody did it better than Warren. Yeah, I mean, to to do that from the interior, to even sniff 100 sacks is pretty impressive. So definitely they're both the two top, I would say, interior defenders of all time. But moving to an edge defender, Chase Young, he's signing with the Saints. The former number two overall pick landed a one-year fully guaranteed $13 million deal. Good for Chase. Good for Chase. I can't. He's only 24 years old. But it, it feels like he's been around longer than that. He's been it bumping does. around. I mean, we thought when he came in with Washington, he was going to be a stud after the career he had in college. He was so dominant in college that he seemed like a no-brainer in the NFL. But, um, you know, he just hasn't had last year with the 49ers. I didn't really see or feel an impact from him. And, of course, that team stacked on defense. But we'll see what he can do for himself now. I mean, like I said, so impressive at Ohio State. You get $13 million on you still get money, but it's it's somewhat of a prove-it deal. What can you do? So hold on. Are we worried about the Saints this year? Are we worried about the Saints? I think the division has gotten better. I think every yeah. team in the division has gotten better. And by the way, yesterday I said the Bucs, I think, have stayed the same. I rescind that. Um, they've gotten a little better. They, but it's mm. been depth. Like, they're, they've are they added depth. They've re-signed the guys they've had to, and they've added depth. They haven't brought in a huge name, which you don't have to. And especially on defense, I trust Todd Bowles will get the best out of the guys he's bringing in. So I think every to answer your question, um, I don't know if the Saints are the favorites, but I think every team has gotten better. Come on. Remember, we talked to Pat about this. The Falcons are the favorites. Falcons that's are probably that's, the favorites. Yeah, that's why he put the bet down. So Kyle Pitts giving Kirk Cousins uh, uh-huh. the number for basically just throwing me the ball. Right. Hey, just throw me the ball. Right. Yeah, I saw that too. That's Dude just got $180 million, $100 guaranteed. He's like, I don't need anything. Just throw me the ball. And Kirk's like, but I'll donate it to whatever chararity you uh, want. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. Come on, Kirk. Trying to make the right statement. I understand. <laughs> you, get the, you. you get the good good dude award. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, last headline we got this morning. The 49ers are going to lose their fifth-round pick in the 2025 draft completely, and their fourth-round pick in this year's draft will drop from number 131 to number 135. The NFL said payroll errors were from the end of the 2022 league year and that they resulted in a misreporting of the team's cumulative player compensation. I don't know but about you, Aaron, but when you got that many stars on your team, some errors are probably bound to happen. And I say quote-unquote errors because you got a lot of people to pay and they were moving some numbers around and one number got moved around wrong, it sounds like. What is a clerical payroll? Like, come on. Like, What's going on there, John it, Lynch? Come on. It makes me think, it, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to insinuate they're doctoring the numbers. I, that would be pretty dumb. But 
I, or like if they were knowingly misleading the league and, and people, if they're saying this is just an innocent payroll mistake, all right. If not, I mean, do you think teams have been getting away with this thing? I mean, when you got that many studs on your team, there's no telling, man. Like, they're just trying to afford all those dudes. Like, now the 49, the, it's for me, it's the 49ers who I hate anyway, so I'm just going to give them crap. But it's it's legitimately interesting to try to figure out what, what went wrong for here. For conspiracy theorists, and occasionally I, I can be one myself when one's good enough, you could make the conspiracy that, like, teams have been doing this and doctoring the books for years, but... Or you could just be on the side of, and if you if you believe the league statement, they said the NFL determined that the club would have remained yeah, under the yeah. salary cap at all times, regardless of the era error, and there was no intent to circumvent the cap. So if you believe that, mm -hmm. nothing to see here. But it does make it very interesting that, that yeah. numbers could be wrong. <laughs> like, so it's like it's like a Michigan situation. We think everybody might have done this before, but it's just now getting caught. Like I like to think there's uh, someone in the back room. With, uh -huh. like, just glasses and a pencil, and they're just doctoring numbers to yeah. try to make Chase Young available to fit within the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody evil back in the back doctoring the numbers. All right, well, that's all we got for top headlines today. From the penalty box, back to you, Aaron. Thank you. Great stuff. And, yes, I see on the text line, you can always text your thoughts to 82945. Start your text with DAE. I did mention the Bucks made some moves yesterday. They made some moves as well. First of all, they signed official signings yesterday. We'll get to that in a second. But I brought up them really uh, adding some depth to their uh, to, to the defense, especially the defensive backfield. And Tavier Thomas, that is the name they brought in yesterday. I like this kid. Free agent, came from Houston, spent some years in Cleveland. The years he was in Cleveland, he was there with Baker Mayfield. Really like hard hitter. Uh, we'll get into him on the other side as well as this. Shaq Barrett, he had some comments the other day. He said, quote, Tampa going to be mad they let me go. Is the Shaq move going to come back to bite the Buccaneers? We'll talk about that next. It's the Pat and Aaron Show. The cut of the grass. The smells of a steamed dog. The crack of the bat. He's, He's back. back. Right near the wall. It's out of here. That's right, baby. It's opening day in Tampa Bay. The sounds, the crowds, bats, balls, and pitch clocks. Oh, my. It's time to raise up Tampa Bay. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate on the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of I'm Children Morgan, and Families. Why should you hire the largest injury firm in the world for your injury case? Lots of people hired us. We've collected over $15 billion and won a lot. Morgan & Morgan, For the People. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Meet Cheryl. Hey. She's on vacation and lost in the moment. Unfortunately, so is her Chase debit card. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe she lost it at Salsa Night. These skirts should have pockets. Or maybe she lost it at Pilates. Three and two and... But she's not worried. With the Chase mobile app, she can lock her card till it turns up. Tools that help protect. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data reads may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. Oh, I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. A fraction of a raindrop, three grains of salt, at up to 100 times more potent than morphine. The tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. 
It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. If you're looking to get a new car, you could really cut expenses by bundling your car and renter's insurance with Progressive. Sure, you love your old car, but you know it's not normal to give instructions on how to open the window. It should be self-explanatory, but it's not. And notice how when you're in other people's cars, you can feel cushion in the seats? That's pretty nice, right? No, it's just normal. So bundle your renters and car insurance with Progressive and put the savings toward a new car. It's time. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company coverage provided in service by affiliates and third-party insurers. Not available in all states. Climbing ladders to clean your gutters stinks. For only $1 per foot, let the gutter experts at the Rhino clean your clogged gutters before they cause damage to your home. That's right, just a buck a foot. You enjoy your game day while they do the dirty work. Go to therhino.com and schedule your cleaning today. Injured? Hire America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Tractor Supply. After missing the NCAA tournament, South Florida will try to extend its season tonight, taking on UCF in the first round of the NIT. Meanwhile, March Madness does begin tonight. The first two first four games in Dayton are on tap. Wagner takes on Howard in Game 1, followed by Colorado State against Virginia. And the Buccaneers added to the secondary. They've signed free agent defensive back Tavier Thomas to a one-year deal. I'm Matt McCoy. Doug Gottlieb here. Just like in basketball, a successful game plan starts with having the right players. The MVP team at Tractor Supply brings both hustle and heart. That's what really sets them apart. So lace up your sneakers and make winning plays by heading to your local Tractor Supply store today. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. All I want to know if you got your popcorn ready. Home of the best box coverage. Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Pat Donovan taking the day off. It's myself. Aaron Jacobson and Casey Warner. We got a lot to get to today. The madness begins. The play-in games a little bit later on. USF playing UCF in the NIT tonight. Are you excited about the NIT? Are you excited about USF? Do you still want to see them win to prove what a season, what a tremendous season they've had and really cap it off, put a bow on that thing? Also, we've got some Buccaneers news. Now, the Buccaneers making some Not big signings, but important signings. Now, they officially signed cornerback Bryce Hall, who was with the Jets previously, has been four seasons with the Jets. Really, you know, they were so deep, especially the defensive backfield in New York. So good, that defense, that especially last year, he struggled to, to get onto the field. But he's a versatile depth piece for this team. And a guy who in 2021, he started all 17 games. And 79 tackles, he's a lengthy guy, and he uses that length really well. And for a Todd Bowles defense, he is the perfect mold for Todd Bowles and what Todd Bowles tries to accomplish. So I think he's going to fit in really well. I think that's a really good depth piece. I don't know if he'll start uh, uh, compete for the starting job with Zion McCollum. We know Jamel Dean's going to have his, his starting job. But even if he doesn't compete for the starting job, that is somebody I trust and I think is a good move. Also, we've talked about the interior offensive line and work they have to do there. Sua Upeta is a guy they have officially signed. We talked about them bringing him in and and him joining the squad. He spent the past four seasons with Philadelphia, undrafted free agent. These are the type of guys. I love these gritty players that make their way onto a team. They stay on a team. They're not starters, but he can be a starter. Ten career starts. He's appeared in 38 games, six last season. So you really bolster that depth, and that's what they have to do. And then on top of that, yesterday they added Tavier Thomas, who he's going to compete for that nickel corner spot. Hard hitter. This 28-year-old, I was watching some of his fit film yesterday. Just a real hard, tough hitter. Loves the game of football. You can just tell. I watched a a video of him mic'd up. Loves the game of football and is always near the ball. And I love players like that. That always find. Sometimes there's guys that always find their way near the ball, and he is one of them. So some good moves to bolster up that versatility and that depth. But also the key to this free agency, the key to this offseason for this Buccaneer team has been retaining the guys they've already had. And yesterday on the NFL Network, I believe it was uh, Jason Light was with 
uh, S- Sam Weish. Um, he, yeah, or sorry, Steve Weish. My bad, Steve Weish. Um, and he talked about this offseason. And I want to get to the Shaq Barrett comments in just a second. But first, I want to let you hear what Jason Light had to say with, say with Steve Weish. Take a listen to this. So, Jason, when, you know, you guys resigned several of your own players. We always hear teams try to say, like, hey, the goal is to always draft, develop, and resign. But why such, you know, why this commitment to this team? I mean, we know you guys made it, made the playoff run last year. But why maybe not go out and, and refresh certain guys? Is, is there a certain thought to say, hey, we know we can take these guys that we had and get to the next level? Or kind of what was the thinking about resigning so many of your own guys? Well, we've still felt that, like they were very they were very good players and they're not slowing down. And they were a, a big reason why we were able to get over the hump last year when we were four and seven, all of these players that we resigned. Um, Levante, David, Mike Evans, I mean, these two are going to put, I think they're Hall of Fame players, um, and they're still playing at Levante. We haven't talked about him. He played, he had one of his best years, too. So, must mm-hmm. be something in the water in Tampa for him and Mike to be playing the, the level that they are, and we'll take it. Yeah, I'll take the water in Tampa. I won't take the elevator music that they put behind. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, come on, man. Like, just let Jason Light talk. Why do you need elevator music? But the point that I took from that, the one thing I took from that was, listen, they're not, even though the Bucks are trying to get younger, they're not afraid, clearly, to re-sign aging veterans, guys that have proven to this team that there is no slowdown in their game. Primarily, Mike Evans and Levante David. Obviously, the other guys are in their prime even before it, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Antoine Whitfield Jr. might not even hit his prime yet, which is saying a lot. But you look at those aging veterans, there's been a lot of miles on Mike Evans. There's been a lot of miles on Levante David, but they're still playing at such a high level, a Pro Bowl level. I mean, it is incredible the way they are can every year can continue to play at this level and and be so effective for this team. But it made me think when I heard those comments about Shaq Barrett because Shaq didn't – it was inexpensive. Um, the For what the Bucks are looking for, you're either trying to get younger and build younger, build in the draft, or you're going to bring in guys, retain the guys, the, the aging guys that were productive. And, and Shaq just was not – productive the last few years some bad penalties a lot of offsides penalties and just wasn't the guy the force that wreaked havoc almost getting 20 sacks years ago and you can say you know coming back from the Achilles injury that ended that 2022 season that is a tough injury to come back from we all know this but I don't know how much left there's in the tank for Shaq Barrett and I don't know what he's going to be able to bring to Miami But regardless of what he brings to Miami, I'm never going to look at the move of letting Shaq go as a bad move for the Buccaneers. It was a good move. It had to be done. Now, Shaq said this as his pertaining to his signing with the Dolphins. A lot to prove. He was talking with Joe Shad of the Palm Beach Post. Especially getting cut from another team like that adds another whole fuel to the fire right there. And I'm like, Dolphins going to be happy they signed me. Tampa going to be mad they let me go. He's got a chip on his shoulder. And for Shaq Barrett, his best years have been when he's had a chip on his shoulder. Now, some guys need that chip. Other guys don't. I don't like the comments because in a way it feels like Shaq feels sour towards us. And the way that his family embraced the Tampa Bay area and vice versa, the Tampa Bay area embracing the Barrett family, especially with some of the the hardest moments of his life. Losing a daughter, losing a child, it's unimaginable. And the connection he had with the Tampa Bay community, it it feels like he is a bit bitter, a bit sour, and he does have a chip on his shoulder. He feels like he's got something to prove, something to play for here. But as far as the Buccaneers are concerned, they wanted to get younger. They wanted cheaper options at the position, and that's fine. I think that's a good move for the Buccaneers. You have to be smart, especially when you don't have a lot of money to work with aging guys like Mike Evans and Levante David, they were going to get money else, elsewhere. They could have, especially Mike Evans could have gotten good money elsewhere, but you have to look at your priorities. And I think most of us would have loved to have Shaq back, but he's a rotational guy. Now he's not a guy that's going to go out there and get you anywhere near 20 sacks. I don't think he's going to get you anywhere near double digit sacks. So if you're Shaq Barrett and you got a chip on your shoulder and you got something to prove, where were you? 
and I, I hate to, to, to dish on Shaq because, yes, he has been through a lot. And also, I love him. I love Shaq Barrett. But it's hard for me to hear those comments of, I'm going to prove, I'm going to make Tampa Bay mad. I'm going to be make Tampa Bay mad. They let me walk. Well, why didn't you have that fire or that attitude last year of, hey, I've still got stuff to prove. People are saying I'm done after my Achilles injury. I'm going to come back and show them I'm not done. So as much as I love Shaq Barrett, I would have loved to see and hear this chip on his shoulder last year where he could have been very used and very if he, his, if he had a little bit more production, especially with getting after the quarterback, something this Buccaneers team could have used a little bit more of, right? We're talking about needing a pass rusher. Shaq Barrett was that guy. He has not been that guy as of late. So I love him. Hope he does have a good season and have some success in Miami. But no matter what success he has, I'll never look back, even though hindsight can be 2020. I'll never look back and say the Buccaneers made the wrong move by letting him walk. The Buccaneers are doing what is the right thing economically to make their team competitive and try to get them a little bit better than they were last year. Hard to do with the money they've had, lack of money, and the guys they've had to retain. But from what I, and yesterday I talked about, did this team get better? No, they really stayed the same. But if you think about it and you break down some of the depth moves, you talk about Bryce Hall, you talk about Suo Petta, you talk about getting multiple guys to, to bolster the line. And then yesterday, adding Tavier Thomas, I, I do like what they're doing. It's not, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and making some ridiculously insane splashes this offseason, right? Two at the quarterback position, and I don't even consider those the biggest splashes. You see what they've been able to do on defense. Um, I, I think the Buccaneers are doing what they can, and that's the way the salary cap dictates things. They're not going to be able to, uh, I wish they could doctor up, like we mentioned earlier, the 49ers. You can doctor up that payroll a little bit, but you can't. You can't do it or else you'll lose some draft picks. So go, good for Shaq. You got some money. Now you can go try to prove it, but would have loved to see that chip on your shoulder last year. All right, on the other side, we got a lot coming up on the show. I want to remind everybody, uh, this Friday, we're going to be broadcasting WDAE at 5405 University Parkway in Sarasota. It's UTC over there as we celebrate Match Mardness. Yes, Match Mardness. And the bracket busting heading into the weekend. Friday, there's going to be a lot of action. Noon till 6 p.m. Skip work, leave work, do what you got to do to get out there and come hang out. 5405 University Parkway in Sarasota. It's Oak and Stone presented by Oak and Stone at UTC. 95.3 WDA and AM 620. So make sure you are out there. And then on the other side, want to get into the Rays a little bit. Want to tell you what's been going on in spring training for them. But also, there was a Barstool blogger that wrote an article headlined, The Tampa Bay Rays are pretending to be poor again. My question is, is he right? That's next on the Pat and Aaron Show. But want to make sure you all are paying attention to your future because it is important. Trajan Wealth, they are going to help you with all your wealth management and your retirement planning. It is so important to keep an eye on your retirement no matter where you are in your life. It's never too soon. It's never too late to get your retirement planning and get ahead of it because you want to make sure your path to retirement is an easy and comfortable one. You're going to have questions. They will have the answers for you at Trajan Wealth because they're here to help you prepare prepare for tomorrow with a plan that's going to be in line with your values, right? And everyone has different values and different risk tolerances, and they're going to be make sure they're factoring all of that in for you when they're working with you. Trajan Wealth, TrajanWealth.com. They've got offices right here in Tampa Bay. So easy to get to you to if you want to do a face-to-face appointment. If you prefer a virtual appointment, that's easier for you, more comfortable for you. They'll do that for you because at Trajan Wealth, they just want to make sure, like I said, your path to retirement is easy and comfortable. They want to develop a plan for you that gives you the peace of mind that you deserve. So check them out. Give them a call today. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. TrajanWealth.com. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor paid advertisement. A raise update next on the Pat and Aaron Show. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic update. Crash in Clearwater on Belcher, just south of Gulf to Bay. Also, we're seeing building traffic in Tampa on southbound 275 towards downtown and on westbound I-4 west of Plant City over towards Branch Forbes and McIntosh Roads. Overnight construction now wrapped up in St. Pete. 
Traffic getting back up to speed on southbound 275 near Tropicana Field. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need for the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Since 1985, Fates Electric has proudly served as Tampa's premier electrical contractor. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we bring a commitment to excellence in both commercial and residential projects. Our 24-7 gold service is Tampa's most recommended electric contractor. Our dedicated electricians prioritize quality workmanship and unparalleled client communication, ensuring your project is on time and completed to perfection. See why our clients rave about Bates Electric. Power on, power on. Pluto TV is TV the way it should be, free, with over 300 channels, thousands of movies and TV shows costing zeros of dollars. So if you want to watch shows like Ghost, The Walking Dead, CSI, Star Trek, or The Price is Right, well, The Price is Right, it's free. Hit movies like Braveheart, Sonic the Hedgehog, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, or Mean Girls won't cost you a thing because everything is free. All you have to do is download the app, which, by the way, is also free. Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! The free iHeart Radio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio, a unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Open the free iHeart Radio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now commercial free. Free never sounded so good. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today, and it's going to be cooler than it has been. Our high will reach right around 71. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Our low drops back to 51. Tomorrow, Wednesday, once again, mostly sunny. It's going to be warmer, though our high will touch 76. This report is sponsored by Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice is 100% juice, which means no sugar added, no high fructose corn syrup, and no artificial sweeteners. Kids love the full fruit flavors, and you'll love knowing you can count on Juicy Juice for the good stuff. Find Juicy Juice at your favorite local grocery retailer. Info at JuicyJuice.com. We are Tampa Bay's only option for talking sports 24-7. This is WTAE on air and streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. I'm not going to lie. That Juicy Juice commercial, yeah, did the job. I want some Juicy Juice. That's all I want right now. I don't even want to talk sports right now. I just want Juicy. I can't do anything further until I get my Juicy Juice. What's your go-to juice? Um, That's a really good question. The fruit punch. I don't uh, know if they had that in Juicy Juice, but I typically like like a fruit punchy, a punchy that ain't flavor. A juice? That's like a cocktail, man. What do you That's mean? Got all kinds of sugar in it. That's not a hundred percent. What's a juice? We talking about real hundred percent juice, dude. All right. Well, look me up the flavors for Juicy Juice. I mean, <laughs> and, I would and say order like them. Juicy Juice. I think they got grape, like cranberry. Oh, I like cranberry. Grapes. Yeah. Grapes. I got to be in a grape mood. But, yeah, uh, grapes yeah. a little strong. A little juicy juice. How are the Rays? Are they strong right now? I feel good, uh, as good as I'm going to feel going into the season. Um, we've seen some some really good things from different guys. Xavier Isaac, uh, impressive spring, but we've got time until we see him. We need to see guys on this squad really, uh, really elevating their game. 
and they're battling a ton of injuries right now. And it's a really good thing they've got the depth they do because we talked about the Josh Lowe injury and something that's going to linger. When we talk about the hip, the oblique, it's going to linger. So he's not going to be ready for opening day, and they're going to need the depth to really step up. And you're going to need stars like Randy Rosarena and Yandy Diaz to be stars because the Rays, like the Rays do, they didn't go out and spend a ton of money. They brought in pieces that fit for this team, and I like that. Ahmed Rosario, Palacios, uh, DeLuca, who is injured right now dealing with a broken hand, but those are the depth pieces that I really love what they did. This is the playoff team last year. This is the team that could have won the division easily. Uh, dealt with If they didn't deal with the pitching injuries they dealt with, the bevy of those, they would have won this division. I, I truly believe that. As good as the Orioles were and as great as that run the Orioles made, the Rays just, I love the team they have together when they're healthy. The problem is when you don't when you don't have those key guys, and of course if any team loses their star player, it's going to hurt. Aaron Judge goes down, it hurts the Yankees. But the Rays don't really have that guy. Yandy Diaz goes down, it, it, it certainly has that effect, right? But they didn't bring anybody in for the money value that I think this franchise, this organization has so desperately needed over the years. And not just to spend the money, to spend money, but to bring in a superstar. I mean, you've grown some stars, but you don't have a superstar. You've never brought in a superstar or a budding superstar. Would have loved to have seen it. But we're never going to see that. But what I love is when the rest of the baseball world points in and aims in on on uh, on the Tampa Bay Rays organization, especially fans of major city teams. And they try to make fun of the Rays for not spending the money. And I find it hilarious because no matter what, even if the Rays don't spend money, which they don't, they win. They win every year. They compete every year. And teams like the Yankees aren't winning. Teams like the Red Sox aren't competing every year. Teams like the Mets spending all that money are not competing every year. And there was a blogger from Barstool, Chris Klemmer, who I believe is a Mets fan himself, who wrote this scathing article about the Rays pretending to be poor again. And it's funny on one side of it because, once again, these are big market fans that are clearly just jealous of the mold and the model the Rays have put together for 15 years, more than 15 years now, and it has provided success throughout that run. And there is clear jealousy. But also, as I'm laughing and reading the, the jealousy that is just pouring out of this blogger, I'm also kind of going, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. The point remains the same, that the Rays can find a way to do it without the big payroll. But... Imagine if they found the way to do it without the big par- payroll and then added a little bit to that payroll. And he brought up the comments from Stu Sternberg indicating that the elevated payroll for 2024 is going to lead to real losses this year for the club. I brought up these comments, I think, two weeks ago. I don't really understand it. You know, when you talk about the $90 million payroll, when you talk about the TV deals, the money coming in, when you talk about the revenue sharing it's hard for me to imagine a team that's valued over a billion dollars. By the way, a team that he only bought for a fraction of that, his percentage and in, in stake in the club, only a fraction of that. He has made more, than, probably more than five times the money he invested in this club, which is a ton of money when you're talking about over a billion dollars. So, yeah, does he have that money now? No. Is that money he can get if he decides to sell the team? Yes. Is that money that I wish he could put back into the team and invest in, in bigger players? Absolutely. It's not, it's not the style. It's not their way. So I look at that and I, I do agree when I see the TV dollars and how much money they're bringing in, but this is just always going to be the way, the way of the race. This is always going to be the race way, but to see the jealousy, it's still so impressive that the Rays are able to do this year after year. And you're baffling. The rest of the baseball world, they're pulling their hair out, trying to figure out how their teams aren't able to find the success that the Rays have found. And their team's spending a gazillion dollars to bring in these star players. Look at the Padres. Look at the Angels over the years. The the money the Angels have spent, what have they done? Absolutely nothing. So these bloggers can say what they want about Stu Sternberg and about the Rays, but as long as the Rays are winning and as long as Eric Neander and company are building the right team, why why would Stu change the model? 
Why would Stu go, yeah, I'm going to spend more money when my team's competing and having success every year? And I think we all know at this point here, the attendance, not as big of an issue as a lot of people like to make it out to be, right? The lack of attendance, not as big as if they didn't have the TV money. Not as big as if there wasn't rev sharing. So the Rays are bringing in enough money where this is sustainable and they look very comfortable in this model. Uh, we got Nick Wise coming up in the 7 o'clock hour. Nick just sent me a text. I got really excited because I'm, I'm pumped for the Valspar starting on Thursday. Going to get some of my favorites who I like a little bit later on in the week. But Nick was trying to book golf, apparently. And he sent me a, I'm not going to name the club, but the uh, golf club. But it's not far from here in St. Pete. It's okay. It's not great. It's like $150 per round. I mean, the golf prices are insane right now. Absolutely astronomical. We're getting hosed, people. We got to bring it back. We got to figure out a way to bring back the control on our side. I don't like it. All right, on the other side, Nick Wise is going to be in studio. Who is the best general manager in all of Tampa Bay sports? That's coming up next. Don't go anywhere. It's a day to celebrate the dunks, the buzzer beaters, plus a great reason to skip out on work at noon. Join WDAE Friday as we broadcast live from Oak and Stone at UTC, located at 5405 University Parkway in Sarasota, for a day of jump shots, good food, and plenty of cold drink as the tournament is here. Zach Blobner, Chris Mathis, Ronnie Lane, and Tom Krasnicki will all be live starting at noon, keeping you updated on all the madness as it happens. Presented, presented by, by Oak and Stone, Stone, Craft Beer, and Artisan Pizza. And Tampa Bay Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navaj Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. And we're live here outside the Perez family home just waiting for the... And there they go. Almost on time this morning. Mom is coming out the front door strong with a double arm kid carry. Looks like dad has the bags. Daughter is bringing up the rear. Oh, but the diaper bag wasn't closed. Diapers and toys are everywhere. Ooh, but mom has just nailed the perfect car seat buckle for the toddler. And now the eldest daughter, who looks to be about 9 or 10, has secured herself in the booster seat. Dad zips the bag closed, and they're off. Ah, but looks like mom doesn't realize her coffee cup is still on the roof of the car. And there it goes. Oh, that's a shame. That mug was a fam favorite. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are buckled correctly in the right seat for their age and size. Learn more at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. The tournament is here. Here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contest out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up until the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today to stay updated on all the action. Bet Online. The game starts here. Hey, you got any gum? Yeah. Check my backpack. What's this? Oh, that's naloxone. It can reverse an opioid overdose. 
I decided to always keep it on me after my friend almost died. It saved his life. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. That makes me want to have it with me, too. You totally should. Check the pharmacy. It was actually really easy to get, and it's easy to use. I definitely will. Thanks. Naloxone saves lives. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. We want baseball. Are you ready to hear the crack of the bat and the sounds of a cheering crowd while enjoying an ice cold Coca-Cola? Before the official start of the 2024 baseball season, head out to the ballpark to see your favorite major league teams train here in Florida. Snag tickets to visit a ballpark in your area, then head to the concession stands to grab snacks and Coca-Cola beverages. Baseball and Coca-Cola. Tastes like victory. Brought to you by Coke Florida, your local Coca-Cola bottler. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. This is Tampa Bay's home for the best Bolts coverage all season long. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg, 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park, 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater, 96.7 FM W224BE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. Fun in dysfunctional. Yeah! Yeah! Each and every weekday morning, the Pat and Aaron Show. It's a little too early for being that loud. Good morning, Tampa Bay. And here we go. Now your host, Pat Donovan and Aaron Jacobson. Here we go, goons. Seven o'clock hour. Let's go. Aaron Jacobson, Pat Donovan taking the day off. Nick Wise has just joined the studio. And I got, I know you love college basketball and the madness as much as me. Mm, I got like a little bit more energy boost. I, we haven't even talked really hoops yet off the air, a little bit. But my energy level because of what's about to hit us tonight, the play-in games. Two of the play-in games tonight. The madness is upon us. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. What do you, all right, real question. What are you watching tonight, play-in game or NIT? Uh, well, the good thing the Lightning game's late. I probably won't be up for, I'll probably maybe catch a, a period of the Lightning game. I'll have the NIT on that I will go to just to see the score. Okay. But I will be 100% focused on the playing games. Without a doubt, not even close. It, it's it's Wagner and Howard at 640, and then it's Colorado State at Virginia at 910, around the same time that USF will be playing UCF. And, yes, I will be watching Colorado State, Virginia, more so than USF. And I think most people will, even if you're a USF fan. It's the NIT. I feel bad saying that, but it is uh, It's second. As T. Kraz would say, it's, what is third prize? It's the uh, not invited tournament. It, it's it's the not invited tournament. So I will. I'm excited. I was saying earlier, I don't know if you caught this, Nick. You sent me the WFAN bracket to get in on that. Yeah. I um I don't know how many brackets. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot this year. I think with the Hard Rock Bet app roaring, I think I'm just going to be betting a lot on the app. I think you should do that, but I think you should do at least... I, I think this year with as crazy as it's going to be, everyone should do at, at least two brackets. I'm doing do three. Two, yeah, do two or three. And then just... But what you do is is you have your one main bracket that you try like to really put the thought into, and that's the only bracket you look at. And then after the first weekend... You go off of whatever bracket's in the lead, but you kind of stick because you're going to have teams that are, you know, where you have them in one and not the other, and you don't want to be going against each other. That's bracket. what kills me. I know. That's what I hate, too. So just look at one bracket, and then after the weekend, maybe that bracket's not doing so well. You go look at each other's and be like, oh, oh, this one's doing all right. So I, I did I, I did three, one that I put effort into, one that I just went chaos, and then had my wife pick another one. And that's the one that's going to win. My wife will win. Chris she had North Ma- Carolina. Chris Mathis put we well, you put together all of our final four picks. We'll get to them in just a, a few minutes. But Chris Mathis put his out there, and Zach Blobner was very harsh towards Chris Mathis's picks. And right when I saw the Zach Blobner text making fun of Chris's picks, the the first thing that came to my head was. 
Chris will now win. His his final four will be the closest out of anybody. Well, and he's like the luckiest kid. Anyone that stood by him at our company Christmas party won a prize. Yeah, like, dude, he, the kid's good luck. Luckiest kid. Have you seen his girlfriend? And, and not to mention, how do you... How, how do you criticize anyone's Final Four picks? Because last year, if the tournament started and I put a Final Four together and I would have had San Diego State and Florida Atlantic in the Final Four, you'd have been like, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. You are so stupid. You don't know ball. And you would have looked like a fool because I do keep track of those comments and I do come back to them. I think every, I do come back. I keep receipts. I do keep I receipts. I will be reminding all of you of your I, stupid I, I had this guy talking, this Ohio State fan talking crap to me on, on Instagram and, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to remember this. And then like eight months went by. We beat Ohio State. Eight I went, months. I went right back to that. I said, what happened? <laughs> That's some serious vengeful behavior. That's what I did. I, you know what I did to Tommy Chuck over the weekend, right? No. So our boss. Tommy's our boss. Our boss was on vacation, and only one person in the building could get a hold of him. And when Tennessee lost uh, in the SEC tournament, I texted Teresa, who's the one person that could get a hold of him. He was in London, and I guess to get a hold of him, you have to text his wife, and then the wife will relay the message to him. <laughs> And I said, hey, can you get a hold of Tommy? And she said, yes. And I said, she said, what's wrong? I said, I just need you to text him, Tennessee sucks. <laughs> and, and so they're like five hours ahead. So it was probably about midnight when Tommy got the text. I wake up Saturday morning at like 6 a.m. to Tommy's reply. <laughs> and it was like, at least Kentucky lost and Alabama lost. We didn't have to hear him. I go, Teresa texted you. He goes, yeah. So did Tommy have to go to his wife and be like, all right, you need to text this back? <laughs> no, he texted me from his phone. Okay. Like, cause that relay of like the trash talk between Tommy's <laughs> wife, between Teresa to you, is the best game of telephone ever. That would have been incredible. But I yeah, so I, I had to go through someone here who texted his wife and got to him. But I like that. I take pride in my trash talk. That's what's great about sports. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's some old. Like, you're really keeping eight month receipts. All right, nobody trash talk Nick Wise, or else you will. You will. I hear will remember it. it. All right, I want to. Um, I want. We're going to give our final four picks in, in just a little bit. And you're right. It's always like the. It's always the crazy. I anyone went weird goes, with mine. Anyone who goes chalk, you're wrong. And I ended up going chalk. And I know it's not going to like close did, to chalk. Did you see Shannon Sharp's bracket? No. Shannon Sharp for the men and women's tournament had eight number ones. <laughs> like, <it's> not, <laughs> like that's like, not happening. It's not going to happen. It's so rare that four number ones in a tournament are all going to make it. Through their regions. Yeah, so. my, my, my wife's bracket had some crazy. I was like, shit, Charleston over Alabama because Charleston's a nice place. But she still ended Charleston's up. Charleston's a nice she place. She still ended up with three uh, ones. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. I Like, I was hoping hers was going to be a little bit crazier. So I had to get really weird on one. <laughs> I, I took, I got, yeah, I, I got a weird Charleston's one. a nice place. Put him in my bracket. She'll win. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Casey's got Iowa State uh, going to his final four. I, I think he's the only one I saw having Iowa State. I, I kind of like that. I think Mathis did as well. Him and Mathis had a very similar I, little I, Well, bracket. look, their, their stock is high. They just destroyed Houston, which scares me a little bit. Um, but I, Iowa State, they're a good team. The Big 12 is a great conference. So You can watch us right now on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. I see as the 7 o'clock hour begins, we're starting to get some good viewership, I, I so did, check it out. I did respond to Casey, though, when he sent me his, and, and I never did hear back because I just – and I want to know, do, do you really mean that or do you put a lot of your heart in your bracket? Because you are, you're a Kentucky fan, and I noticed you had them in the Final Four, and I, I did hit you back with the homer. Yeah. Are you, are you going with your heart, or do you really believe that Kentucky is going to be in the Final Four? I was kind of telling Aaron this to start the show off in top headlines. My theory for doing brackets with people I know their fandom or, like, out of state. So, for example, me being a Kentucky fan, I'm going to pick Kentucky in any of the brackets I do down here because there's not many Kentucky fans. That's people smart. People aren't going to pick them. So it gives me more of an opportunity to get more points if they make it that far. So that's kind of my theory down here. Now, in general... I don't want to pick Kentucky if I'm using my head and what I think is going to win because that way, when Kentucky loses, I'm upset because my favorite team lost and my bracket's busted. So that's why I do multiple brackets. Yeah, that, that's smart. And Aaron, the bracket we get in, there's a lot of New Yorkers. And so UConn's going to be a popular pick. So you want to try to stay away from UConn. But they're, but they're good. They are good. They're good. But there's three teams. There, there's, there's no teams I can trust. Nobody yeah, I can, I can be trusted at this point. I this season could, especially. There's three teams that fall under like all of the Ken Palm's criteria, and it was Houston, uh, Purdue, and, and UConn. But UConn's not going to repeat. Nobody repeats. 
You know, and Purdue, I can't trust. And UConn, I don't trust after, or uh, Houston, I don't trust after this weekend. UConn, or, or sorry, Purdue, Arizona, like Arizona. those are teams I just do. I, I, it's I struggle to trust. Unfortunately, uh, I've got them going deep. Uh, so we'll be giving you our final four picks in just a few minutes. But I do want to kick off this conversation. I want to carry it over to the other side because I found it very interesting. Yeah, you're you're a genius sometimes with these things you come up with. These little grids. You've come up with your own little point system. Yeah. And what's this point system for, you may ask? All right. So, well, 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 I, no, I was, it was, uh, I was building it up. <laughs> it was a build-up. I, I had this whole performative art going. Was, Thanks for calling me a genius that I screwed it up. <laughs> um, you have a point system for to find out who is the best GM in Tampa Bay sports. The best GM in Tampa Bay right now. We're using, obviously, uh, for... The Bucks, the Rays, and the Lightning. We're just yep. going to go with the three major teams. Jason Light, Eric Neander, Julian Brisebois. Your point system, it is as rock solid. It is impenetrable. It is it. Whatever we come up with today, this is the end all be all. <laughs> okay, I like that. You uh, don't even right. know what the point system is yet. No, I do. I trust you. You're a genius, like okay. I said. Um, well, all right, so I'll roll through it right now. So so the point system that I came actually, before I get into it, let me ask you, before I reveal, like, what the point system revealed, you know, of who the best general manager is in town, how would you place them in order one to three? One, it, It's a really tough question. It's a really, really hard question. Number one for me, without a doubt, is easy. It's Eric Neander for me. Okay. Without a doubt. It's Jason Light, number two, and it's Julian Brisewa, number three. And they're all very good, and it's really close. But to me, the the far and beyond is Eric Neander for what he's been able to do with so little. All right, so Eric Neander, before I did this point system, I also had at the top because I started to think, all right, he's done the most with the least. We all know that. But at the end of the day, I can't weigh this entire thing on doing the most with the least. Like, at the end of the day... It has to come down to what your product has done on the field or the rink. And that's what, you know, when I did this point system, that made it kind of fascinating because you kind of see where Eric Neander falls. So, Who'd you have number two for you <sighs> before the system? I had Jason Light because yeah, I understand Julian Brisebois has, uh, you know, won the most championships. I still give a lot of the credit. Am I wrong for giving a lot of the credit to Steve Eisman? Am, am I taking too much away? Uh, yes, I think you're taking. Julian yes, Brisewell? Julian Brisewell was the one who made those, some key those were moves. Eisman's draft picks. You're right, but some moves that got him over the hump at the deadline were moves that Steve Eisman didn't really pull the trigger on, and we're seeing it hurt the Lightning now that Julian Brisewell made some of those moves, especially as of late because it's killed, it's depleted their draft picks, but. He made the moves that needed to get them over the hump. So I do recognize him for a job he's done there. Um, Jason Light brought in Tom Brady. Like, to me, that's... You bring in Tom Brady and you win a Super Bowl, and you are a big part of why he came here um, and that relationship they had going back to New England. You do that, you, that puts you up on a different level. Uh, on the point system, free agent acquisitions is, is a category on here. All right, so we'll get into that. Just wanted to tease what we got coming up. We're going to go through the point system. We're going to rate it. We're going to see who comes out on top as the best general manager. The poll is up. Poll is up on Twitter so we can hear from the fans, too. Check that out. Great job, Casey Warner. At 95.3 WDAE, we'll hear from you, and we'll go through the point system. Who's the best GM in town? That's next on the Pat and Aaron Show. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE traffic update. Seeing delays in St. Pete due to a crash on northbound 275 near 22nd Avenue South. Right lane is blocked there. One in Clearwater on Belcher and Nursery. Also in Tampa, southbound Dale Mabry just before Lambright. And we're seeing delays on westbound I-4, Alexander Street in Plant City over towards McIntosh Road. And on westbound I-4 through Ybor City approaching 275. With traffic from Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep, even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. We're live here outside the Perez family home just waiting for the... And there they go. Almost on time this morning. Mom is coming out the front door strong with a double arm kid carry. Looks like dad has the bags. Daughter is bringing up the rear. Oh, but the diaper bag wasn't closed. Diapers and toys are everywhere. 
Ooh, but mom has just nailed the perfect car seat buckle for the toddler. And now the eldest daughter, who looks to be about nine or ten, has secured herself in the booster seat. Dad zips the bag closed, and they're off. Ah, but looks like mom doesn't realize her coffee cup is still on the roof of the car. And there it goes. Oh, that's a shame. That mug was a fam favorite. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are buckled correctly in the right seat for their age and size. Learn more at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Spring has sprung for the used car market, and that means full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. If you're looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV, GiveMeTheVin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. They want to buy your vehicle right now. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com, put in your VIN number, just a few pictures, and get ready. GiveMeTheVin.com, they offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. It is easy to do. Check them out. GiveMeTheVin.com. That's GiveMeTheVin.com, and get your check on the spot. Feel good. Dad, are you singing to your cereal? Yes, I am. Like I knew that I would. Na, na, na. No, a dance too? Come on, Ava. Silk almond milk. Starts the morning on a high note. Yow! Songs, dances, and dad jokes. Oh, so good. So good. I got you. Mm. Silk almond milk. With calcium, vitamins A, D, and E. Feel plenty good. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RivardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RivardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional group. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Open the free iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. This report is sponsored by Juicy Juice. No matter what the day brings, count on Juicy Juice for the good stuff. Give kids the nutrients of real 100% fruit juice to help them conquer the day with no sugar added and no artificial sweeteners. Find Juicy Juice at your favorite local grocery retailer. Info at JuicyJuice.com. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today, and it's going to be cooler than it has been. Our high will reach right around 71. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Our low drops back to 51. Tomorrow, Wednesday, once again, mostly sunny. It's going to be warmer, though our high will touch 76. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Pat and Aaron show. Aaron Jacobson here with Nick Wise and Casey Warner. Pat Donovan on vacation for the day. The question I asked, and we gave you a bit of the point system that Nick Wise came up with. Who is the best general manager in all of Tampa Bay? It's a Nick Wise bulletproof point system. So whatever we come up with today, that's it. Nobody else can say any more. The debate is over. Nick Wise, let's get into it. Let's find out who the best general manager in Tampa Bay sports is. Yeah, so I it's look, it really is the the most impossible question to answer, right? Like I think we all have respect for all three of these guys. They've done a tremendous job and they've they've delivered us a lot of W's here in Tampa Bay. It, it's not impossible. You have a point system. It's very <laughs> possible. We're gonna figure it out. So it's broken down into categories division championships, conference and league championships, uh, actual like winning it all championships. Uh, free agent acquisitions, trade success, all stars slash all pros drafted, um, and so here the point system is: you get a point for each division uh, division championship. So Eric Neander got two points for that. Julian Breesbaugh one point, and Jason Light had three points. Uh, when it comes down to the conference and league championship, Julian Breesbaugh got three points because they have been to three Stanley Cup finals. Eric Neander a point, Jason Light a point, and then championships. 
Uh, Julian Breesbois, two points. Jason Light, one point. Eric Neander, zero points. Now, free agent acquisitions. This was opinion-based, uh, the point system. One, two, and three. And who? How are we? At, how are you accumulating these? By the way, how, what do you mean? Like, how do we get to this? Who voted on this? This is all. This is me. This is just your points. Yes. Yeah, so okay. No. So the championships. That's all on the team. That's a success. Okay. Right? Of, the, of the exact numbers. These are exact numbers. Yeah. Eric Neander's produced two division championships, so he got two points. Okay. Um. You know, Jason Lights won the the conference, the NFC once. He got a point for that. And now when it comes to free free agent acquisitions, this was just based on, like, it was so hard to kind of go in. This and is look subjective. At, this is subjective. But Tom Brady automatically gave Jason Light three points. I mean, you has to. It's the one of, if not the greatest free agent signings of all time, bringing Tom Brady into the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and winning a Super Bowl. So Jason Light got the three points. So you agree with that. Yes. Got it right. Okay. I, I gave Julian Breezebois the two yep. because... Eric Neander just really can't bring in free agents. And it's, it's not just, his fault. No, it's not his fault. It's just something the Rays don't do. So that's where Neander got penalized. Not his fault, but that's how it laid out. So Jason Light got three points. Julian Breezebois, two. Eric Neander, one under free agent acquisitions. So trade success. This was another one where it, you tried to go back and, and really look at all of them. And when I was doing this. It's not even close for me. So I was looking at, I was looking at the Rays, right? And I go back to when. Uh, Neander started and I'm like looking at the first I thought I was looking at the first year and it was like all of these trades and moves and then I realized this is just January I'm like I can't click through each one of these months so Neander should get five points for this category. so the trade success was done like the free agents it was subjective a three two and a one Neander got the three I gave Julian Breezebois the two and Jason Light the one uh, when it comes to trade yeah, success. Yeah, I, I think the trade success that you saw from Brisebois in the Stanley Cup run, bringing guys who eventually had to lose this, leave this team. But, like, you look at what Blake Coleman did for this team. You look at some of the guys uh, that came in, Goodrow, guys that have just been, that were so impactful for this team. Um, yeah, I would put Julian number two, and I would put Jason Light uh, at the end of that. That's how I got it. But it's like, like I said, Eric Neander should get five points for that. When you look at some of the steals he's made, no, some I of the, the just absolute hijackings, he's he's incredible. It's not how the point system works, I, though. It, you're right. It's a great point system. It's the best point system. All right. It's the the only last, point system. The last category was all star slash all pros drafted. This is first team all pros, by the way. Also, learning this, and maybe I should have known it. How's Mike Evans never been a first team all pro? Right. Isn't that messed up? That's me but that's yeah. It just continues the kind of like the disrespect that Tampa Bay sports often get. I I thought he was an all a first team All Pro, but he wasn't. So. He just does it so quietly from a position that those players can be so loud, and, and that's that's why he's the best, and that's why he should be a first team All Pro just for that. Um, so All Star and All Pros drafted. So this is one where Julian Breezebois, you know, he's got the disadvantage here from not being there that long because a lot of his guys. Nobody he's drafted has even played a full season, you know, 82 games in the NHL. So Julian Brisebois, he got zero points for that. Jason Light ended up with two because he drafted Winfield and Werfs. And Eric Neander gets two points for McClanahan and Franco. And when you tally them all up. I mean, you get deducted for Franco. I, I mean, look, it was a, a great pick. I'm, I'm not deducting him, you know, for someone's off-field issues. He was really good when he was in the field. So, uh, the point, I, so what, that one was... Um, uh, what was that category again? That was all star slash all pros drafted. Uh, I have to go Jason Light at the top of that. Well, he got two, and Neander also got two, and Breeze Ball zero. And, and it's nothing against Breeze Ball. It's not that he's had bad drafts. He's just too new into the tenure. So the system's not perfect. It's, yeah, you know, it's it's as fair as you can make it for guys that have had a different you know tenures here in Tampa Bay. When you look at Tristan Wirfs and you look at Antoine Winfield Jr., that's an incredible draft. And what you know, Mike Evans is is a Jason Light draft pick as well as first ever draft pick. He didn't fall into this because it was first team only. But yeah, I mean, he's not Jason Light's not even getting a point for Mike Evans here. Yeah, Jason Light to me is is yeah I, it, in that category, and I know the point system is sound. Jason Light has done more with his draft picks, and it's a little like it's a little it's it's hard because the drafts are so different and how they're they're set up for each league where in major league baseball a lot of guys like growing your own guys in your own farm system very hard to do from draft to get them up to the this majors this is meant for debate this is for me to just tell you how it is right? oh, all right. <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> no you you're totally right the drafts are different for both I, again that's why julian breezeball zero points um so when he tally them all up it brought out 11 points for jason light 10 points for breezeball 9 points for neander 
<sighs> I know. You hate that. Because going into it before I did this point system, in my mind, too, it's Neander. And, look, I, I get it. He's done more with less. But at the end of the day, I I can't give the, the GM, the one that hasn't won a championship, I can't say he's the best. Like, it's just not right. Like, the product on the field it, has to matter. I get it. He's the most handicapped. It's a really good point you make because – you're right. Like, the Rays have had the most success and longevity. I haven't won a championship. But the Bucks have won a Super Bowl under Jason Light. The Tampa Bay Lightning have won multiple cups with under Julian Brisebois. So, yeah, it, it, you're right. Like, on in my head, it's like, without a doubt, it's Eric Neander. But the whole point is to win it all. And, and I was talking earlier about Stu Sternberg and the money spent on this team and how, listen, it hasn't really mattered because they've had success. And a couple people texted in and was like, the success hasn't led to a World Series title. No. And they're absolutely right. So as great as the Raves have been, we look at it from a different perspective and we set the bar lower for the Rays we, because of what they we spent. We always set the bar low for the Rays. And that's what I hate. I'm done setting the bar low for the Rays. They have proved us, you know, the national media wrong year in and year out. They always over... That's why I'm sick of them raising these banners for wild cards because... I just think they're better than that. You know, and if you are going to acknowledge it rather than putting a, a single banner in the outfield, I don't make one banner and just add a year to it because, you know, like the wild card banner that they raised last year on opening day, I wasn't a fan of it because I thought it was a disappointment. The team was better than that. This year, they're I think they're going to do it again, and I want to forget all about the Rangers series. That was one of the most disappointing ones of all. And, I don't know. The and, and series I'm, the year before was pretty bad, too. They were both they bad. And they're both hit. ones that I want to forget, and I don't need a banner for them. The point is, the Rays, I'm I'm not I'm done not holding them to the same bar we hold the Bucks to and the Lightning. Like, look, the Bucks had Tom Brady, and we thought there was going to be years of turmoil afterwards. And here they are. They host a playoff game and win a playoff game. And people still aren't happy with that, right? Like, they wanted more. And it's like, that was way more than we thought we were ever going to have in this town after Tom Brady left. But with the Rays, it's... I don't know. We we cut them the slack. You were talking about the article earlier from Barstool, how they pretend to be poor. And, you know, I it's kind of accurate. I, I think it's kind of accurate. But when those fans come out and you're like, they're just so bitter with how the Rays have success without spending the money. Yeah, no, I get it. You definitely upset other organizations. Right. And I think all of MLB owners are rooting for the Rays because. You know, it's bad for the players, but great for the owners to see a good product with a cheap budget. We're seeing your text come in, 82945. Start your text with DAE, who your best GM in town is. A couple people did know Wander Franco was a draft pick, or was a signing, not a draft pick. That is true. So I guess you move Eric Neander even further down the list. All right, sorry, Eric Neander. Yeah, he loses the point. My bad. Uh, we'll give you have some thoughts on that, we'll take your calls. 888-546-4620, the best GM in Tampa Bay sports. Also, your text, once again, 82945, starting with DAE. AE. And also on the other side, we're going to be giving you our final four when we get time for that. So that means Neander would have got an extra point for free agent acquisitions, right? With, with Wander? Y yes. All right. So the point system stays the same. All right. Still, Last place for yeah. Eric Neander. It is a solid <laughs> system. Nobody can penetrate it. Yeah. It's not up for debate. We'll take your thoughts <laughs> and we'll debate it on the other side. It's Pat and Aaron Show. Live from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Wednesday, March 27th, we invite you to the final Ronnie and T-Crass program as our own version of Batman and Robin sail into the sunset one final time. So bring your tissues, your memories, and a stiff drink and a cigar for one final toast in honor of the most hideous show in Tampa Bay radio history on the radio home of the Ronnie and T-Crass show since 2014. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620, Tampa Bay Sports Radio. Hey, it's Pat Donovan. I've been telling you for a long time, if you're looking for the best lender, work with my friend John Howard at HowardTeamHomeLoans.com. But right now, if you go to HowardTeamHomeLoans.com slash Valspar, you can actually win a pair of tickets to the Valspar Championship. Plus, one grand prize winner will win a pair of tickets to the Snake Pit on Sunday with all you can eat and drink on the 18th hole. From John Howard, your official sponsor of the Porta Potty at the Valspar Championship. Lower LLC and MLS 1124061. Equal housing opportunity. Terms and conditions apply. At Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, we support the children of tomorrow who motivate us to discover what's possible today. Like Mahi, whose dream is to become a doctor. Or Sophia, a future veterinarian. And Marcus, who wants to be a movie producer. To us, a child's dream is as precious as their health and at the core of all we do. Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Forward for all children. 
Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call America's largest injury law firm. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. If you or anyone in your family has been injured in a car accident, call us now, as the time to file a claim may be limited. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before, protecting America. America, fighting for you, Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey, you got any gum? Yeah, check my backpack. What's this? Oh, that's naloxone. It can reverse an opioid overdose. I decided to always keep it on me after my friend almost died. It saved his life. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. That makes me want to have it with me, too. You totally should. Check the pharmacy. It was actually really easy to get, and it's easy to use. I definitely will. Thanks. Naloxone saves lives. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. A fraction of a raindrop. Three grains of salt. At up to 100 times more potent than morphine, the tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. Guys, the summer is right around the corner. Get ready to dive into it with my guys over at Pool Perfection. Tampa Bay's premier luxury pool builder. They will get your pool up and running. They can build it in weeks, not months. Go online. There are plenty of five-star Google reviews, thousands of happy customers. Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder is Pool Perfection. So call them now. You get a free estimate and a 3D design of what your new pool will look like. Call them. 727-518-7665. That's 727-518-POOL. Sponsored by Howard Team Home Loans.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Home of the best bolts coverage. Will your brackets be busted? We will find out and tonight, actually. Well, not really, because you're playing game unless you have them going far. <laughs> your bracket won't be busted tonight. The playing games are tonight. Wagner taking on Howard. And then the later game, Colorado State taking on Virginia. If you got Colorado State, who's had a good season. If you got them you know, going pretty far, yeah, these games do matter to you. Yeah, it, well, if you do lose these games tonight, remember, you can change your bracket before Thursday. Don't forget. All right, so you can change your bracket. Yeah, you can ch- you can change your bracket up until Thursday. So if you had Colorado State going to the Sweet 16, but they lose tonight, you can, yes, change it. Oh, that's so annoying. To what? have to go in and change everything. Well, I think a lot of people wait to fill theirs out. I, You know, I, I did one of my weird brackets because it didn't matter. And I had my wife fill hers out because, again, I didn't think it mattered. Um, I, the one that I'm going to put all my effort into that will probably come in last, I'm going to wait until the play-in games happen. This, every single year, I go into this thing and I, and I think, okay, do not let your favorites come through. At some point, there's going to be an upset. They're going to be taken out. Make sure you have that Cinderella story somewhere. I don't know where to find it, but find it. I didn't find it. I I got through, as I do every year, I did the bracket, just kind of going through it, and I ended up with essentially shock is what I did. Now, you look at the East region, Connecticut, UConn has just been the better team all season long. They have been really, really dominant, and I just don't see a very tough matchup for them in the region. Um, you've got Iowa State, I think, could be tough if, if they get to the Elite Eight. I think that's Illinois. interesting you say that because I think that's like the hardest bracket. I, it is the hardest bracket, and that's why I think I ended up with chalk in a lot of these because I look at um, who can actually compete against UConn, and to me, there's only really three teams that I think could compete against them, and then everyone else I think would really struggle mightily against UConn. So in my East Brack, East region, I've got UConn 
prevailing. And then when I go down to the West, I think North Carolina's Fugazi. I do not think they are they are very good. And I think Arizona, the two teams that scared me going into this thing was Arizona and Purdue. And I thought, as I watched them throughout the season, and yeah, only four losses for Purdue on the season, but as I'm watching the season unfold, to me, Arizona and Purdue are shaky. So naturally, I have them both in my Final Four. I yeah. don't know how it happened, but when I just went through the brackets, and it all has to do with the matchups, I just like Arizona's style, and I think they're going to be able to score a lot of points. They're going to beat up on Long Beach State. Then they're going to have a shootout, Whoa. I think, with Nevada. I know. Don't I know. underestimate Long Beach State. I know. Um, firing their head coach and then winning the tournament to get in. I don't want to underestimate them too much. But, yeah, I, I just I like Arizona, the number two seed. So, yeah, wh- they could easily have been the one seed, so I consider that a chalk pick. I go up to the South region, and I don't trust Houston. I think at some point they're going to fall, the number one seed. And I like Marquette, who has been shaky at times this year. I like the run they made in the tournament. They didn't win it, but they made a good run there. And I think they're going to have a tough out against Western Kentucky there, Casey Warner, to start this thing off. A Western Kentucky fan uh, in Casey Warner. But then I, like, I don't trust Kentucky. Um I think Texas Tech, they're going up against an NC State that had a beautiful run in the tournament, in their conference tournament, but I think that comes to an end, and if, they show their real colors. Yeah, if every game was played at Texas Tech, I would take them to win the whole tournament, but unfortunately, they're not played at Texas. They are so good at home, uh, but, you know, neutral site, so I've got not the same. Yeah, I've got uh, Marquette, and then i got Purdue. I think Purdue's... Who they have to face in that bracket, I just don't think it's a very challenging bracket. So I've got Purdue coming out of the Midwest, and my final four, pretty chalky, UConn, Purdue, Arizona, Marquette. I've got one and two seeds all around. So those are the four teams that I think they'll be too, except those aren't the four teams I'm picking. I'm not going with what I think is going to happen. So the final. So you do think those picks are are, are decent picks? Yeah. So they're not going to happen. Yeah, I agree, a hundred percent. And I, I love it too. I, I did exactly what you were doing. I, I filled out the bracket so many times. And I end up with very similar to what you have. I I don't necessarily trust Purdue, although maybe this is the year they finally get it done. Zach Eady in his eighth season. They I just but I can't trust <laughs> them. They lost to a 16 seed. They didn't perform well in the tournament the year before. They just struggle. If you're Edie, who's been so good throughout his career. You got to be able to play in these. Like, you got to do something that helps your team win in these big games because that's the one knock on him. A guy who was just so talented, but, and uses that size so well, but he just hasn't been able to win big games at Purdue. Yeah. What I think it'll be is UConn, Houston, uh, Creighton, and. Uh, Arizona. What yeah. do you like about Creighton? I got Creighton in mind as well. What I, do you guys like about Creighton? I, it, it's it's the Big East. Yes, they're solid. Um, that's because that's what I that's what I said earlier, Nick. They I said in a lot of big games, and that's what I said earlier. I said they're battle tested. They are they are hardened through the schedule that they've had in a, in a very tough Big East, and they've got two guys, uh, two big guys on the team that are just really really good. With Houston, you know, if they get behind, they have a hard time scoring. I, I never trusted Houston before, but now that they're in the Big Twelve, I trust them a little bit more. So. So those are the chalk teams. That's what I think I have. Now, the teams that I'm actually putting in my bracket, Auburn, Houston, Carolina, Creighton. I'm going weird with Auburn. You know, UConn, I think, is amazing. But how many times do teams repeat? So at some point, I, I got to take out UConn. Like, I, I, I got to make a weird pick. Creighton's beaten UConn during the regular season. And I know they're obviously in different regions. But we talk about Seton Hall. Maybe should have probably should have been in the field. They Creighton beat up on Seton Hall. They beat up on Marquette, who I have in my Final Four. So two teams that I have in my Final Four, Creighton beat this season. Yeah, I would love to see Auburn and uh, Bruce Pearl go up against Tennessee. I, you know, I think that would be kind of cool. But that that was so that Auburn's the weird, crazy pick for me. And, you know, will this be – this is why I'm filling out two brackets because I don't feel super confident Auburn could beat UConn. But – you have to get weird with your picks. You can't not get weird. You know, I think in one of the in the weird bracket that I did, the bunch of weird picks. I think I have a, a twelve and a thirteen playing each other, and it's just that's what you have to do. I love me win. some Bruce Pearl. He's Bruce, great. the character of Bruce Pearl. If we can get those for all the coaches that are going to be in the Final Four, I mean, sometimes the coaches are what makes this thing so excited. It's it's one of the reasons why you know I loved watching St. John's this year, but. 
I wanted Rick Pitino in, in the tournament field. I wanted Rick Pitino bringing another. Shot him, I know. Rick and Richard, that'd be awesome. Yeah, Rick. Yeah, Rick and Richard. That's right. That's absolutely right. So I, um, yeah, I, I, the Pitino name and the character, especially his father, especially Rick, is just you know they are. Those are the characters in basketball where the coach you see him prominently, right? In in any other sport, you rarely see. You know, you'll get a head coach in football on camera here and there. In basketball, you see the coaches on the court the entire game. They're a huge part of it. Yeah, so New Mexico, I like. I, I got them winning a few games. Hey, did you watch the New Mexico game Saturday night? Rich, uh, Rick no, Pitino's I was partying. grandson. They kept showing him. Like, he was losing his mind on the sideline. He's like seven. I love it. <laughs> you yeah. know, he was going crazy when things were going bad. He was happy when things were going good. Uh, you know, it was, it was it was kind of a cool moment. But, but yeah, like, you have to go through and you got to... I, honestly, don't put any thought into them. Just... Just ask your away. ask your wife for your picks. I, I do like Marquette, Aaron. Oh, sorry, Casey, real quick. Yeah, I do like Marquette, but, I you know... The injuries, you know, if they get fully healthy, I like them even more. Kansas is beat up, too. A couple teams going to this thing beat up. Sorry, so let me ask you all this. Who is the lowest team or the lowest seeded team you all have advancing to the Sweet 16? Because right now I'm looking at mine, the one that I sent you, Nick, my Final Four with Kentucky, Iowa State. Uh, my lowest seed I have in the Sweet 16 is actually a five. I got two fives. I got Gonzaga and St. Mary's. That's it. I've got Drake in my Sweet 16. That's a 10 seed. When I, when I went through the teams with my wife and I said Drake, she goes, Drake? <laughs> Drake? She goes, Was that a, that's a school? Um, in mine, I have, it looks like, uh, I do have one. Uh, James, no, not James. And I got Matt. San Diego State. I take that back. Three fives. I have NC State as an 11 beating Kentucky to play Marquette. Ooh. Look, they're hot at the right time. They're hot at they the are. right time. And that's what, like, th- have they been good all year long? No. But getting hot at this time, uh, even though I think they're going to lose to Texas Tech, this is the right time uh, to get hot. I think, um, like, if even though I have Purdue going far, I think TCU could potentially, they hang in games. They could provide a little bit of a spark. That's a nine seed. Oregon, you talk about teams that are hot. Oregon's a team that's hot. That's an 11 seed. Could You know, you beat that. South Carolina team in that matchup, then you go up against probably Creighton. Um, the, you know they could they could advance at a, as an 11 seed, but I don't see anybody really under 11 seed. And of course, making once I say this, we're going to see probably gonna a 12 see or 13 seed. Yeah, um, I don't see any of them really going far. So here's my final four in my weird bracket. But is this weird enough? I'm worried that it might not be. I have Auburn, Baylor, Marquette, and Purdue. It's a one, two, three, and a no, four. No, that's not that's not like it's that's weird, solid. but it's not too weird. It, See, I should it be more weird? See, that's the problem is we're trying to make it weird because <laughs> we know to it's going to get weird. weird. Now, like, it's not, we're not betting with our heads. We're betting with weird. And I have Purdue winning because to me, that's weird. When you bet with weird, like, and you're like, oh, I can't have Purdue. I don't say you bet weird. You fill out brackets weird. I can't fill out my bracket and have UConn winning the best team in the country because it's weird. You know, like, that's what the brackets do to us. They mess with our head. They do. They screw with our head. Uh, USF, they screw with our head. We wanted them to be in the tournament. They're in the NIT. They're first since 2010. They will take on UCF, UCF being the home team, tonight at 9 o'clock. Somebody on the text line mentioned, how come you guys haven't mentioned the first battle on I-4 and it's in a tournament? Hell yeah. Let's go Bulls. You're not excited about the NIT? I I am. People I, look, are psyched. I, 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 I hopped on the bandwagon. I supported USF through that run, through the tournament. I was watching them at the bar where there was no TVs, which is weird, uh, out in Dunedin. Like, I, I, I got invested, but I, I don't get invested in the NIT. Even if it was my own team, I'm not, I don't watch the NIT. I, I, I'll i be glancing at it. I'm pretty sure it, Michigan won the NIT like a decade ago. I don't care. I'll glance at it, but I'm not going to get invested in it. But I'll tell you, if you're looking for the greatest jewelry around, I'll tell you who to invest in, International Diamond Center. They're inviting you to step into a world of elegance and luxury. They're rolling out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. I'm talking to Corey and Viraggio. They're here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. You're not going to want to miss this. The entire collection from Decori Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, all the latest from Viraggio Unique, Distinctive and personalized. Two of the most revered brands in bridal. Other stores aren't even allowed to carry these iconic designers. International Diamond Center, they do. They have them for you. This weekend, check them out. 
the best all in one place this weekend. Find the ring of your dreams. And on top of that, enjoy two years, zero interest financing. Plus at this event, when you buy it to Corey or Viraggio ring, International Diamond Center, they're going to give you a $500 gift card on top of that by matching the wedding, by the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. So if you buy the matching wedding band, you get a $1,000 gift card. Do not miss this amazing event. The most exclusive designers in bridal only at International Diamond Center happening this Friday through Sunday. Do not miss it. International Diamond Center, Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. More details at shopidc.com. On the other side, let's get a little weird. Situation Men with Casey Warner. Nick Wise sitting in with me, Aaron Jacobson. He's filling in for Pat Donovan. WDAE. Traffic update. Delays in Tarpon Springs, southbound US-19, approaching Tarpon Avenue, also in St. Peter, crash now on 34th Street South and 26th Avenue. Earlier crash on northbound 275 near 22nd Avenue South, now off to the right-hand shoulder. Southbound 275, slow in Tampa between Fletcher Avenue and Hillsboro, and southbound 75 now on the brakes around Fletcher towards I-4. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal plan is work. So let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Believe it or not, most small businesses don't have a 401k. If you don't have a 401k, you are missing out on the greatest wealth creation tool ever created. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and many 401ks are overpriced for the employer, have expensive and underperforming investment options, and have tedious administrative provisions. Not at Trajan Wealth. We can set up a 401k for a company for only 8 bucks per employee, a $65 per plan fee, plus a small advisory fee. That's right, not thousands or even the tens of thousands you've been quoted. And do it all in less time than it takes to sit in traffic. If you have five or more employees, these 401ks will help you attract and retain top talent. And if you're an employee and don't have a 401k, tell your boss, call Trajan Wealth today. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Services offered through a third-party partner. What's the Anna Jar and Levine difference? If you're the victim of a car crash, you will always speak to a lawyer. You'll always get the highest standard of care from our dedicated legal team and will always fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anna Jar and Levine difference. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Don't wait. Call 1-800-747-FREE. Main office Tampa. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. Yeah. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah. Switch to Straight Talk. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Taxes and fees apply. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan. I know being a champion means you're a leader in your field and you always rise above your competition. That's why when summer temperatures get extreme, our home has a champion air conditioning system that keeps my family comfortable and cool. Get peak performance in your home by finding a local champion dealer at championhomecomfort.com. Ask about our special financing options with rates as low as 0% and our factory-backed extended parts and labor warranty. Always leading, never compromising, championhomecomfort.com. Go to markspain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. This report is sponsored by Discover. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today, and it's going to be cooler than it has been. Our high will reach right around 71. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Our low drops back to 51. Tomorrow, Wednesday, once again, mostly sunny. It's going to be warmer, though our high will touch. Touch 76. This is WDAE on air and streaming live right now on the free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No. Who are you supposed to be? It's your friendly neighborhood situation man. 
Time for a little Situation Men on the Pat and Aaron Show. We've got Braden Coburn. He's going to join us in a few minutes. Can't wait to talk to Braden Coburn. Love our Tuesdays when he's in. The lightning red hot. And uh, hopefully they continue that trend. We'll find out how they continue it with Braden Coburn. And we'll probably get Braden Coburn's final four picks as well. I'll put him on the spot and tell him to give us his final four picks so we can all bet our money on whatever Kobe says. All right, Situation Men, Nick Wise in studio. Casey Warner, what do you got? Let's go. Let's lead it off with USF. This is huge. I don't think a lot of people know this. So let's go back to 2019. The USF Bulls men's basketball team won the College Basketball Invitational, which is like the tournament below the NIT. <laughs> so, yes, so that's impressive. Yeah. I did not know that. They went 5-1. and one. So it makes them, what, the 150th best team in the hey, country that year? It's, it's a championship. So on this topic for situation, man, this is a shout-out to all Bulls fans who don't want to watch the game tonight. Which would be bigger for USF, winning the NIT or their Boca Raton, Boca Raton Bowl win, knowing they've never won the NIT before? The, the furthest they've advanced is the quarterfinals. You, they've won the CBI. Now let's get them an NIT championship. Come you on. don't have to oversell it for me. It's the NIT for USF. Perfect. And as big as bowl games are, they've been diluted over the years because a lot of guys are, are opting to not play in the bowl games. And there's so many bowl games that you're seeing 500 teams in college football that aren't very good get into the bowl games. So nice win for USF. A really good season for the football team. Uh, turning things around under Alex Golish. But... You win the NIT tournament, we're talking about a string of games that you've won, a championship game on top of a very productive season in which you had a really great winning streak. So I'm going to go NIT. You talk about bowl games having people sit out. I mean, so many people are sitting out when it comes to the NIT that some teams couldn't even join the tournament. Like St. John's, they have no players. Like Rick Patino would have to go recruit an entire new team to play. Still going to have decent teams in there that with well, the teams I, that are playing are going to be fully I, loaded. I'm going to go bowl game. And the reason why that remember that crowd against Syracuse. I mean, the USF crowd showed up. They showed out. It was wild for a bowl game that really didn't matter because when you looked at the bowl games, it was mostly empty stands. But USF fans, they traveled. They had a good time. Pay attention to the crowd tonight. It Will they like travel there's, tonight? There's, no, there's a lot of open seats at that arena. Ah. So I'm going to say the bowl game because football is king. Um, it, it, what was the better one for me? Go win a run. Go win the NIT. That's it for me. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you, Aaron. Let's do it. All right. Here is the next local topic in mind here on Situation Men. If the Rays had to play one season at a Grapefruit League park, which one do you choose? It's not technically a, a, a spring training ballpark right now, but... Al Lang. I was passing yeah. by Al Lang the other day. It is the most beautiful stadium. It I cannot is. believe they don't have spring training baseball there anymore like they used to. Of course, the Rowdies play there, but it's just, it's perfect. I mean, it is so Florida. It is so baseball. Beautiful weather, scenic view. I just don't know why we don't have spring training there. It's Al Lang for me. No, I agree. We, we took the dogs for a walk down there and just walking by the stadium. It is so beautiful. It's amazing. It's like, this is such a beautiful stadium. Mine is the... Uh, the one where the Pittsburgh Pirates play down in Bradenton. Lecom? Yeah. Formerly I, I, known as McKechnie? Yep, and, and it's, it's hosted six different teams, and it's 100 years old. I like historic ballparks. and that Lecom's kind of falls, cool, man. That kind of falls in that category, so that's where I'm going. And, and not only that, uh, it would make the Rays a lot closer because I've made that drive from Port Charlotte, and, man, is it far on the way back. There's some good um, st uh, stadiums on the other coast. I like uh, the one in Port St. Lucie, and they've added some things for the Mets. The so, Mets one is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. I, I recommend if any if you haven't done Clover this, if you, Park. If you're a baseball fan, one spring training year, set aside two weeks, and it doesn't take long. Like just you don't even need two weeks. Just do a trip across the coast on the other coast and go check out the other ballparks. It's a, it's a good time. Yeah, no, I agree. I still have yet to go over to the other coast and check out a lot over there, so I definitely need to get on that as well. All right, moving on. What is your one dream free agent destination as an NFL player? I'm not saying this is a homer. I really do believe it's Tampa Bay. Like, it would be Tampa or Miami, and I'm a Tampa guy. I'm biased, of course, but if I'm an athlete, I want to make my money. I want to work hard at my sport. I want to be comfortable when I go home. And 
to live on the water. You see a lot of these guys that get homes on Davis Island, and it is just the perfect setting for how I want to live my life. Now, everybody's a little bit different. Braden Coburn's going to be in studio in a couple minutes. He's from up north. He might like a cold weather environment more. I don't understand why anybody would choose cold weather environment to live in, but some people are different. That's a tough question. I mean, you made a great points for Tampa. That'd be great. I think because I've already lived here, maybe I would try something. I don't know. Like it depends. Am I am I 21 years old and being drafted? Like is that kind of the you know is that the yes. scenario? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're Vegas going. is that's dangerous. what I was gonna say. Too Vegas. dangerous. <laughs> Vegas is too dangerous. You know somewhere you used to Go live. In Vegas. Take my car keys and let's go. Somewhere you used to live, Nick, Arizona. Because I'm a golfer. The problem, though, with that, if this is important to you, you are always the away team as the Cardinals. Yeah, that franchise is I just not wanna, passionate. Uh, same, you know, I just like play golf. Same with the Rams and the Chargers. Like they're always in silent count in their own stadiums. You just, know, just golf. That's all I want. Golf is nice. Golf Arizona. and food. That's my whole life. <laughs> all right, let's get one more situation in here. Ah. <sighs> Um, I think I want to do the cold one. The cold one. Okay, let's go with that. Which sport would you rather play in the cold, baseball or football? Baseball, football, you're you're smashing each other. Now, you are running around so it can keep you warm, but baseball, you could go out there dressed in a parka. It doesn't matter. Like, whatever keeps you warm out there, as long as you can function as a player, I'm going baseball. I'm going to say football because they don't have those big square jackets in baseball that they have on the football sidelines. Mm, Those jackets look so warm. Yeah, but then you got to take them off. That's true. Did you see all the fans that like have to get parts amputated from the Chiefs Miami game? No, there's multiple fans because the frostbite was so Not bad because it. it was like negative four. Is that, that day? the one that uh, Mahomes' helmet got chipped? Yeah. Yes. My multiple gosh. fans have to get amputations. One guy said, "What's he the took, worst body part?" One guy said he took his gloves off for five minutes to set up a tent, and his fingers have been black and blue Ugh. ever since. So, did we see like foot amputations? What are we dealing with? I, it was multiple. It was Ugh. it was covering so many people. It like didn't get into the exact parts, but it was multiple extremities. I like the last one, Casey. Could you save that for next week? Yeah, oh, that's what I do. Any ones we don't use, I have like a whole bank of ones we haven't used, and I'll like bring them up randomly. That's so, a really good one. Sure. We'll, we'll we'll get to that one, but we're Sweet. out of time for Situation Man. Great stuff, Casey Warner. Good answers, Nick Wise, except for the bowl game. Uh, I just didn't get that one. It's NIT. USF it's in the, the NIT. 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 No watch it. Stop. Braden Coburn. He's in studio <laughs> next. The Pat and Aaron Show. The Player of the Night. Presented by Rivard Buick GMC. In the NBA last night on the West Coast, it was the Knicks over Golden State with a big win, 119 to 112, leading the way for New York star Jalen Brunson. 34 points, seven assists, five rebounds, making him your Rivard Buick GMC player of the night. Rivard Buick GMC, no games, no gimmicks, no hidden fees. Check out that inventory easily at RivardBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. I'm Zach Blobner, and of course, this is 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RivardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RivardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional grade. We want baseball. Are you ready to hear the crack of the bat and the sounds of a cheering crowd while enjoying an ice cold Coca-Cola? Before the official start of the 2024 baseball season, head out to the ballpark to see your favorite major league teams train here in Florida. Snag tickets to visit a ballpark in your area. Then head to the concession stands to grab snacks and Coca-Cola beverages. Baseball and Coca-Cola taste like victory. Brought to you by Coke Florida, your local Coca-Cola bottler. Applied Innovation, a company that local business people have trusted for almost 40 years, can be your single source provider for all your business technology products and services. Applied Innovation's longevity can be attributed to a culture that motivates people to perform at extraordinary levels and be accountable to their customers. Applied Innovation, the region's number one choice for copiers, multifunction printers, large format printers, and printers from world-class manufacturers like Ricoh, Canon, and Kyocera. Applied Innovation. 
Station has also become your number one choice for managed network services and other IT support, paperless office solutions, voice over IP telephone systems, document shredding, and other business solutions. You've heard over 100 customers on the radio talking about how Applied Innovation's knowledgeable professionals have given them peace of mind when it comes to their office technology. Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. Hear that? The sound of your antique fountain pen gliding across linen paper as you journal in the park. And if you were here, you'd be inspired by the warm breeze. But you're not here. Because your self-care happens out on the road, riding your motorcycle protected by Progressive. And the wind in your face on the road is all the inspiration you need. So if you ride, get a quote and see if you could save with Progressive, America's number one motorcycle insurer. Now that's inspiring. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates not available in all states. If you want your windows there in weeks, pick up the phone and just search Reese. Protect your home now with Factory Direct custom-made impact windows from Reese Windows and Doors. For over 50 years, Reese has been one of the leading window and door companies in the state of Florida. At Reese, most impact windows, they're installed in just six weeks, and they also come with a double lifetime warranty. For your free initial consultation, check out ReeseWindows.com. That's R-E-E-C-E Windows.com. ReeseWindows.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. When I set out to build our firm, it was built for greatness. It was built for you. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. If you or anyone in your family has been injured, call America's largest injury law firm. Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at SertaPro.com. Like home. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. This is Tampa Bay's home for the best sports conversation in the Bay. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg. 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free. Never sounded so good. It's time, man. Fun in dysfunctional. Yeah! 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 Each and every weekday morning, the Pat and Aaron Show. Is it a little too early for being that loud? Good morning, Tampa Bay. And here we go. Now your host, Pat Donovan and Aaron Jacobson. Welcome back, Goons. 8 o'clock hour on this Tuesday morning. And you know what that means. Blue Steel Tuesday. He is the man. The myth, the legend, Braden Coburn. Make sure you check out Braden Coburn at Braden Coburn 55 on social media and all the great stuff going on with the block party. Uh, Braden Coburn, good morning. What an introduction. Thank you. They, uh, you know what? <laughs> Pat should take a lesson, a note from me. Yeah, there you go. I mean, Pat's out. All right, here we go. Pat's out. Nick Wise is in as well. We've got a, a busy day, a, a loaded studio, and we got to get into the lightning. We've got the madness is upon us. We've got the madness, the playing games tonight. But I do want to start with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And, Kobe, help me with this. How are they so good and so bad in the same season? Because there's so much inconsistencies where one week they could just, we don't know what team we're looking at, and then they can go out and beat the Rangers and beat the Panthers. How? Well, you mentioned it. It's the madness. It's the madness of being a fan. And this team has been a little bit hot and cold. It's sometimes it feels like we take one step forward and maybe there's a step or two backwards. This has been no different. But, you know, there, there's, there's a certain time of year, as you know, as, as any sport 
um, enthusiast knows when you got to get hot. And they're in a playoff run right now. The teams that are in this right now, I like it because they're starting to learn and you're starting to see the desperation and playoff hockey as we come down the stretch. So they're equipped for that. I mean, the way what I'm watching, at least the last couple games, Vazzy, and it's a lot of it's going to be Vazzy having to elevate that level of play and coming off the injury to start the season. That's a question mark. Well, the one thing that they have that a lot of teams wish they have and they don't have is experience and that know how. And when the situation gets tight, when the games are that one nothing game going into the third period, they know how to win those games. So I, I think that's one very big positive they have for them. I think that as we move along, the additions they made at the deadline um, with Dumba and, um, and Declare, Declare, they're gonna, they're those guys are just gonna integrate more into this lineup, and we're just gonna see this this product kind of start polishing out a little bit more. West Coast trip, they're gonna be in Vegas tonight, ten o'clock. I might catch the first period, and then I will be sleeping, <laughs> so I can at least have a voice tomorrow on the show. Uh, how challenging are these? We've talked about it before. The you know obviously the travel that's involved in this schedule, but having a nice little win streak on the East Coast, and then you got to reset, go out to the West Coast for a couple. Well, and that's that's right. This is never easy. Going going west, and and there's a dip, bunch of different reasons. Time zone, I don't know if people really know, but like it could screw up, it screw up an athlete a little bit. And just knowing the start times, we're we're creatures of habit. We're so used to doing things at a very particular time all the time. And you'll see, you'll see with hockey players, sometimes it'll be a one o'clock game, and certain guys just aren't able to wake their bodies up. They'll, they'll, in every sport, you see in basketball all the time too. Yeah, for sure. And and for whatever reason, when you move time zones like that, it just and and it just something about it. It's just like you just feel like you're not quite ready you know so watch for these games watch for the first period to see if the team is 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 hopping and then they're kind of into the game right away it's just a little bit of a challenge but this this is going to be a great game uh against vegas vegas is uh, tooled up they've added some additions too obviously they're uh they, they have a great squad over there and they're kind of in a similar position as the lightning where they've they've have they have a winning team there they won the stanley cup and they've kind of unperformed by their standards this year, and they're in a little bit of a battle for a playoff position. So I'm excited to see how this all lines up. I know the guys have fun when they go to Vegas and they play there. I bet they do. Well, <laughs> you know, the, all the outside stuff is fun, but from um, from a hockey standpoint, and even a fan, and, and I encourage anyone that's ever in Vegas to take in a Golden Knights game there. It's a great atmosphere, much like the atmosphere you're going to find when you come to Emily Arena, um, but with all the flair of, of Vegas. So it's it's a great time. As a player, it's it's exciting. All the games there are, are very exciting to play with, uh, play against the Knights. So I like that. And then they, they sweep into California when they play all the California teams, which used to be kind of like the triangle of death. You know, the California teams Love were that. all big. They were super physical, and they were really good teams. You know, you're looking back kind of, you know, like six years ago, you got – San Jose, they were always good. You know, you got the Kings, they were winning Stanley Cups right, left, and center, mm-hmm. and they were just going to beat you up and run you through the boards and play that Suttered brand of hockey. And then Anaheim, you know, they always had tough teams too. So th- those teams, with the with the exception of probably L.A., because they, they do have a pretty good team, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a feeling out. And they the, the challenge for the Lightning is to keep that playoff intensity high. Because when you play a team like San Jose, who's – one of the worst teams, if not the worst team in the hockey in the NHL hockey league this year, that you want to you you don't want to play to their level, and, and they so do that sometimes though. Every team does that, yeah. But the best teams are able to kind of move past that and, and just play to their standard all the time. So this night, this game tonight, I'm paying lots of attention to it, and then as they move into the road trip, to make sure they can keep that standard high. What, why do, why is it that you think that teams play down to other teams? Like, what is the mentality in the locker room when you're going up against a team? Who isn't as good as you? Like, what what brings that out of you to not play your best hockey, Nick? I I don't know. Like, sometimes I think it's just it's just a, a fight or flight thing. You know, like when you're in a battle and you when you're in a fight, you you, you kind of conjure up whatever intensity that you really need for that that particular fight. I flight, and, yeah, exactly. I run, and so like I have the same thing with my girls' hockey team that I coach. You know, my daughter's team. When we're playing a team that's quite you know quite weak they they play to their standard and it just drives me crazy as a coach i'm sure john cooper's pulling his hair out all the time to, you know when that happens but i, I can just see this team sucks yeah so when, when i figure that formula out uh i'll let you know and, and then maybe i'll uh, be coaching a little bit higher than girls hockey but <laughs> but no i have fun doing that um 
But yeah, it's it's. But you see that you see that in all sports. Honestly, you, you see that in NFL. You see that in basketball. And teams just playing to their team's level, and they just do enough, just enough to win. And it's a problem. Braden Coburn joining us in the studio. Make sure you check him out at Braden Coburn 55 and all the great work on the block party. If you missed last week's episode with Brandon Hagel, that was fantastic. Hags is he's a beauty. He's one of those guys. He's a Western Canadian kid. You can tell how popular he is in the dressing room just because, you know, he's he's quiet, but he's kind of unassuming. He goes about his business and he's just a boy's boy. And and he was he was lots of fun to have on there. And he's a guy kind of like, you know, as I'm sitting there interviewing, I'm like, man, I wish I would have played with this guy because he just seems like a good time. Now, that do you have guys like that where not only a good time, have you, are there guys you watch down the league and you're like, I wish I was paired with that guy or, you know, I, I wish I could be on the ice with that guy at some point. All the time, all the time. There's there's guys, I, I'm just honestly now, and even when I played, I'm a fan of different guys. Like when I, and I, I'm, so my fate, and I stole this actually from Dan Girardi because he used to say this all the time, but. He's, he's, we were watching Braden Point, and Braden Point was just coming into his game, and then you know I really got to see Braden Point um, in his in his glory. He's still in his glory, but I'm like he's my favorite player to watch. I just love watching Braden Point out there, and he's one of those guys. And I'm like I wish I could have just played with him for even longer, just because it's just fun to watch him and see what he does on the ice, and and kind of sitting on the bench and being a fan of it, being like how did he see that? What how did he know there it was there? Like how fast is this guy? Watch how he's never trapped in a corner. How he's always into into open ice. So. There's guys like that all the time, and then there's tough guys. You're like, man, I wish I would have seen this guy like maybe fight in person a little yeah, bit more. Like, the gloves I played on guy. some really tough teams with some tough customers in Philly, <laughs> and you know now it's like you have like one or two guys in the lineup that can really, really hold their own. Like I'm talking like in the heavyweight categories. Some teams don't have any, but. When I was in Philly, we had like four guys, five guys that could like hold their own in that heavyweight category. And I'm telling you, it was like you knew that there was going to be a show like once once or twice a night where those guys were going to throw down. And it was you just kind of sat back and you got your chirps ready and you just like <laughs> cheered them on. It was awesome. I want to ask you, Nick and I were talking earlier. Nick Wise has been sitting with me since the seven o'clock hour. We were talking about the best general managers in town. And obviously, I'm not going to ask you about Eric Neander and what Jason Light has done unless you want to comment on them. But specifically with what Julian Breeze was done. And I know you only got what one year under, under Julian. How many years did you have under Julian? Uh, I got like two, maybe a two, couple. Yeah. A couple, a couple. He, he was, you know, Julian was, he was the guy that even when Steve was around, you know, Julian was, was around a lot. You know, Steve, Steve was, uh, he, he was, he was the architect of what was happening. Um, obviously he was the boss, but he was kind of in and out of town. Steve liked to do a lot of scouting. He was, uh, kind of like, you know, he was traveling quite a bit and, and Julian was kind of a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff. So we, we saw Julian a lot. So I feel like when I got here, I got to know Steve and Julian quite well, which is, which is you know, obviously I have all the accolades in the world for these guys. They are amazing uh, hockey minds. Where does he match up for you? Like when you talk about a guy who did the right moves, when you guys were looking at it, some of the moves he made, key moves to bring guys in to help get over the hump, what was the feeling in the locker room when that was all happening? Well, it's a message when when a guy goes out there and he's like, you know, he he is doing everything in his power to make sure that you win your respect for him and the way you want to go out and play. And you're just like, man, we got a chance like he's doing everything. He's loading us up. And when you have that feeling as a player like, hey, we are loading up to make a run. You feel a certain responsibility and excitement that, hey, this could be our year. And Julian, he, he's able to do that. And he did that the years we won. Um, and you know, that's, it's, it's a big, big reason, you know, maybe we would have won without those guys, but Hey, listen, Barda, uh, Goodrow and, uh, Blake Coleman, Huge. they were, they were instrumental in what happened. And, uh, and, and, you know, maybe we would have, but I doubt it without those guys. What's it like in the locker room? If you're on the other end of that, if you're on a team where you start to see guys getting shipped out because the team's not doing well, what, you know, what, what's the difference there? It depends where you are in your career. Um, if it's if it's if you're a guy being brought in, and so this happened to me, kind of in the reverse. Um, in 2015, I came to Tampa and we went to the Cup final, and I was one of those pieces that was kind of brought in to help boost, booster the club for their playoff push. In 2007, when I was traded to Philly, I was a young guy that was looking for an opportunity, and I was coming to Philadelphia, who was in a retooling, rebuilding opportunity. And for me, I was like, I just want to do whatever I can to earn my spot in this league, show them I belong, show them I'm an NHL player. So it kind of really depends on your situation and where you are. And, 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 you know, I was like, Philly was a hockey market, you know, and it was like, people were going to watch and they were very passionate about their team. And 
vocal about how the team oh, yeah. was performing. So, uh, I, you know, I was I was super jacked up to do that. And and so it's just the flip side. Like some of these teams you're seeing now down the stretch run that have sold off guys. They have a lot of young kids that are playing. And those young kids, they want nothing else than to be the spoiler. You know, they want to keep you out of the playoffs. They want to put you down. They want to show that, hey, just because we're not in the playoff hunt, not, we're not making the playoffs this year, that we're not a walkover. So there's a lot of pride involved. That oh. feeling of just, sorry, Aaron, that feeling of just getting traded. That, like, Aaron, imagine if your boss just walked in right now. is like, Aaron, you are going to Pittsburgh. <laughs> See ya. Aaron, I'm trading you to Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama. You're going to love it. Like, do you just pick up all of your things and, like, you, you move instantly and that's it? Like... You just leave town? So in 2015, when I got traded here, I got traded in the middle of the night. And my wife was, my my son was, I mean, it was just little. So she got up like, I don't know, two or three o'clock in the morning to feed him. And she came back to the room and she's like, hey, you got to check your phone. And because I guess her phone had like, I don't know, 30 plus messages on it from all of our friends back in Western Canada, the time changed and they, they, you know, they were kind of privy to the news and it was like one or two days before the trade deadline. So I woke up and I waited till like, I don't know, six 30. And then I called, um, I called Steve Eiserman and then, um, Paul Holmgren, who was the general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers called me and he's, and you know, just kind of chalked that out. But they were like, can you get on the flight by one o'clock? And I was like, all right, I'll get on the flight at one o'clock. So I went and jumped on the flight and basically that was the last time. And I, We'd built that house um, that we were living in. We were living in Haddonfield, New Jersey, right across the river from Philly. So that was the last time I ever stepped foot in that house. Wow. That's crazy. Get to Tampa, get here, um, get get a rental set it up, set up. And, you know, I think the first thing I did was my, I think my accountant called me and he's like, whatever you're doing, go get a license. Like whenever you got time, you know, because <laughs> there's the tax implications yep. yeah. as a player, the Florida state, state tax, as opposed to the, best. the New Jersey state tax. So I wanted to make sure that, uh, that all was, it was sorted out properly, but yeah, I think it was like my wife came down a couple days later, checked out Florida. We got a good spot for the family to live. We put the house on the market, sold in like two or three weeks, and that was it. And someone came in, packed up all the house, moved everything down to Florida, and that was that That's was it. Cool. it when was, you get down here, had you ever? Did you say I missed it? Did you had you ever been to this area before that? Well, as a player, as a player yeah, coming, not, okay. coming down, um, staying downtown, either at that uh, I think it's the Marriott or the Westin downtown, and you know, just kind of seeing that. And to be honest with you, before this whole revitalization of downtown. Downtown was kind of dead as a, an opposing player. You come in and you're like, it was, you know, not, and I love this place, but you're like, all right, I guess we're going to Burns again. You know, now if, the restaurant scene has dramatically changed. You can't, you, any given night, you can go to somewhere awesome, a different place every, every night of the week for if, a if, month. So if, if you would have bought in channel side or downtown in like 2010, it was pennies. I mean, it was nothing compared to what it is now. Yeah, it's 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 changed so much, and that and that's part of the reason. You know, the, this place has such great energy, and that's why you're going to see lots of former athletes. That's why they stay because the town has great energy. There's just great atmosphere, good schools, and it's just a great place to live. Just got a call on the hotline. Nick Wise has been traded to a radio station in Topeka, <laughs> Kansas. Topeka. Topeka. No, actually, you're you're, oh. going, you're going to Country 800 in Shawnee, Saskatchewan. <laughs> oh my you're god, have fun! My brother's got a double wide trailer for you. You're going to love it. <laughs> you are going to. Love it. There you have it. What a good guy Kobe is. We're going to continue on the other side. Our final four picks. We'll get that out of the way and uh, talk some Tampa Bay Lightning. It's the Pat and Aaron Show with Braden Coburn, Nick Wise sitting in for Pat. WDAE Traffic Update. Seeing big delays on the eastbound side of the Gandy Bridge, a crash near the hump, which is actually closer to the Tampa side. So expect delays towards South Tampa. May want to take 275 and the Howard Franklin Bridge instead. No delays to report there. Delays on the southbound Veterans Expressway from before Waters to the airport area. Crash off to the right-hand side there. Also, we're seeing delays on westbound MLK near Mango Road due to a crash. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This re- report is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Progressive Insurance is making it easy to save money. When you bundle your auto policy with home, condo, or renters, you'll earn a multi-policy discount. Easy to bundle, easy to save. Visit Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two 
GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RivardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RivardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, we have legal professionals standing by to answer your questions. They'll tell you if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Call 800-420-6060. So if you've been injured in an accident and think you deserve compensation, call now. Find out if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Call 800-420-6060 to speak with a live person now. Advertisement sponsored by Legal Help Center may not be available in all states. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 19th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of ED by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Let's put an end to ED. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 19th. 813-219-1919. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you're rolling, show me no kiss off on the party. This is most so roll it back, everybody. Sherman's irresistible soft and have a nice. My grip is always soft. It's our party wine. Sherman Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Sherman. Dealing with your gutters is a swing and a miss. Let the Rhino Gutter Experts pinch hit for you. Schedule now and you can get a $300 discount on services. Plus, the Rhino offers military and senior discounts. So don't wait. Go to therhino.com and schedule services today. The Rhino, hitting home runs all day. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations like Freeform Radio. Search Freeform Radio and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. This report is sponsored by Audible. Come to Audible and discover the best selection of audiobooks without exception. Bestsellers, new releases, plus podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. You'll find everything you love all in one place. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today, and it's going to be cooler than it has been. Our high will reach right around 71. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Our low drops back to 51. Tomorrow, Wednesday, once again, mostly sunny. It's going to be warmer, though our high will touch 76. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Pat and Aaron Show. 95.3 WDA AM 620. Pat's out. Nick Wise has been sitting in since 7 o'clock. Braden Coburn in studio. And we talked about the block party that had Brandon Hagel on it, which you should definitely check out. And then a new one drops tomorrow as well, right? That's right. Yeah, we have. So uh, I guess last weekend, I think it's last weekend. I'm trying to think of the days here, but we had um, the Lightning Hall of Fame. So uh, they inducted Dave Anderchuk and Brad Richards. So those guys were in town and 
they was the 20th anniversary of the 2004 Stanley Cup champion yep. uh, team. So the, all those guys showed up, and wow, what a hoot of guy! Like That's those guys probably are an amazing podcast to get all those guys in the room together. Oh, it was it was amazing. So they the guys came up, and we interviewed each guy for just a couple. It was like small hits, and they talked about the team and what they remember about it, and just some different stories. And some guys went a little longer than other guys, but it was it was funny. And those guys, man, you could just tell, like it just. You know, thinking thinking about it, you know, the team that I was on that won and thinking about our 20th anniversary and just all those guys getting back, it's going to be really cool. And you could see how cool it was for those guys and how they still care about each other. You know, they're legitimately like have those guys have stayed in touch. They really care about each other and how that whole championship bonded that team. And John Tortorella, we were playing the Flyers the night before, so he was in the crowd and you could see just still... Those guys kind of maybe they have a lot. They have a lot of respect for Torts, but they also still have a, like a little shred of fear of him. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a grown man. You know, fearing them. But um, it, it was it was really cool. And and so when I was coming into the league, those guys were like the established veterans. Those were guys. Those were the the big boys. Those are the guys that I had to take a job from to really establish my place. Not not saying them in particular, but I mean like that era of guys. So I felt uh, I felt really cool and honored to be able to interview those guys. And and hopefully I was thinking, man, I was like, I don't want to get like haze or something here. Like these guys are going to be make me do keg stand later. <laughs> you would do uh, up in the up in the chase lounge. Uh, that is the block party. It's going to be released tomorrow. So check that out. You made me just you just a great vision came into my head. Your 20 year anniversary of your cup, um, the first cup now for for this Lightning team since that 04 run. Who would be, I'm, I'm trying to think, Kucherov, if we could, re, we should recreate a boat parade in 20 years for you guys. That's how we should celebrate. That would be great. You know, I, I'm I'm excited to see where some guys are in 20 years. That'll be amazing. I know the one thing I do know is there's going to be a boatload of guys on that team that are going to be in that Lightning Hall of Fame. Who, you guys will be on your boat parade. Yager will still be playing hockey <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> who's in the hall? He'll be not, doing a workout on the shore. You know, yeah. it's like. Not just the Lightning Hall of Fame, but who on this team is a Hall of Famer? I think that's an easy one. I think Steven Stamkos is the first guy that's probably going to go in. No um, doubt. I think Victor Hedman's a Hall of Famer. I think that Nikita Kucherov is going to be a Hall of Famer and Andre Vasilevsky. And, and you think Vazzy, has he done enough? Is he the the two cups? Is that? I think he's he he. I think he's his resume is very strong, um, and he's he's got that ability, and he's going to have that longevity that he's going to be able to play for a long time. So he's going to accomplish a lot more in his career, but he is. I definitely think he is um, a first ballot Hall of Famer. So that's four. Could could Pointer do anything in his career to get himself in that conversation? I think he could. You know, you, you look at last the season he had last year. He had you know fifty plus goals this year. He's already over forty. Um, he keeps doing that. He's a young guy. He's just he's he's such a cerebral player out there. He's definitely another guy you're going to throw in that conversation. You going to the Valspar this week? I'm not. No, I, 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 I haven't know. gotten tickets yet. I haven't figured it out. But I saw yesterday the they had like the little pro am going on yesterday. Goose Gossage, the baseball player, one. I just you look like you're going golfing today, so it made me think of the Valspar. <laughs> Did I get that one? <laughs> I, right? I, I feel like this is like full. I, I love this time of year. I love Best. spring. It's like playoff hockey. Um, you guys have been mentioning. I like. I don't follow a lot of college basketball, but I love the tournament. Um, I love that golf is kind of like where it's at. I love watching the players this weekend. How, Nick and I were texting each other. I got to start texting during these events because that was the greatest ending. I had just gotten back from New York and to watch Scotty Scheffler and the comeback he made and Xander Shoffley and Wyndham Clark, the ball going in and going out. What a weekend. I love it. I, I just think there's a lot of suspense and there's been a lot of talk about, you know, this whole live golf thing and the PGA tournament. And then you have tournaments like that. And it's just like, this is why I'm still a, such a big fan of the PGA golf. You Watch Full Swing on Netflix. I, I've, I've I've watched I watched Dustin Johnson's. Go uh, watch them all. I, I I know I got to watch them. All. You got yeah you got to watch the whole thing. I'm on episode three of the the new season. It's it's just such a good show. Did you get to the Wyndham Clark episode? He was featured in the second one a little bit, but I don't think the part that you were telling me that I need to watch. All right, all right. Like why do, watching, I don't know if anyone else does this, but Scotty Scheffler, watching him and like his swing is unique, right? He's got a unique swing. And so when I go and I'm practicing or I'm golfing, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try doing that little like, <laughs> Scheffler. foot shuffle, you know, like pulling my foot out. His and, back foot uh, comes out, trails he kept, out. Yeah, he was falling a lot during he does, the players. He does that all the time. 
I can't do it. You know, my game, my game just goes to shambles. So <laughs> uh, maybe I need more practice, or maybe I'm not Scotty Scheffler. I don't know. You, you keep working at it. <laughs> you can be whoever you want to be. Uh, all right, we got the blender on the other side. We will give our final four picks. It's the Pat and Aaron Show. More next. It's a day to celebrate the dunks, the buzzer beaters, plus a great reason to skip out on work at noon. Join WDAE Friday as we broadcast live from Oak and Stone at UTC, located at 5405 University Parkway in Sarasota, for a day of jump shots, good food, and plenty of cold drink as the tournament is here. Zach Blobner, Chris Mathis, Ronnie Lane, and Tom Krasnicki will all be live starting at noon, keeping you updated on all the madness as it happens. Presented, presented by, by Oak and Stone, Stone, Craft Beer, and Artisan Pizza, and Tampa Bay Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Does your business need a reliable and trusted partner for network and information technology services? Look no further than Applied Innovations IT Experts. Applied Innovation offers fully managed network services, a program where you outsource all of your IT needs to Applied Innovation. Partnering with Applied Innovation provides you with a suite of IT services, including managed backup and recovery, vendor management, a 24-7 help desk, and managed security. Network security is something all businesses should be concerned with. Hackers using ransomware can cripple a business both large and small. With Applied Innovation managing your network and data security, you stay one step ahead of potential cyber attacks. Want peace of mind? Want a partner that truly cares about your business and your future? Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. Applied Innovation. Fast, friendly, amazing. We want baseball. Are you ready to hear the crack of the bat and the sounds of a cheering crowd while enjoying an ice cold Coca-Cola? Before the official start of the 2024 baseball season, head out to the ballpark to see your favorite Major League teams train here in Florida. Snag tickets to visit a ballpark in your area, then head to the concession stands to grab snacks and Coca-Cola beverages. Baseball and Coca-Cola. Taste like victory. Brought to you by Coke Florida, your local Coca-Cola bottler. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Since 1985, Bates Electric has served as Tampa's premier electrical contractor. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we bring a commitment to excellence in both commercial and residential projects. Our 24-7 gold service is Tampa's most recommended, and our dedicated electricians prioritize quality workmanship and unparalleled client communication, ensuring your project is on time and completed to perfection. See why clients rave about Bates Electric. Power on, power on. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Don't miss Stone Temple Pilots and Live coming to the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater on August 28th. For tickets and more info, visit LiveNation.com. Celebrate Jersey Mike's 14th annual MOG. Stop by Wednesday, March 27th for Day of Giving, when 100% of sales will be donated to Special Olympics Florida. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. A fraction of a raindrop, three grains of salt, at up to 100 times more potent than morphine. The tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. 
Hey, Rays fans, for the best insights, interviews, and analysis surrounding the Rays, check out the Tampa Bay Rays podcast, hosted by your favorite Rays radio personalities. Just search Tampa Bay Rays for all the latest on demand on the iHeartRadio app and raise up with the Tampa Bay Rays. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The Blender. Blender time on the Pat and Aaron Show, presented by Mazda of Clearwater. You got me, Aaron Jacobson, Nick Wise, and Braden Coburn. You can check them out at Braden Coburn 55. New block party dropping tomorrow, and you're not going to want to miss one. this one. It is the Hall of Fame show, so check that out, the block party. Casey Warner, what do we have in the Blender today? All right, well, first things first, we never got to hear Braden Coburn's final four pick, so let's get his final four pick real quick. What are you thinking, Braden? So I haven't done mine yet, so here's the thing. I, we used to do these brackets in the dressing room all the time and lots of fun it's like a group of guys and something you pay attention to whether it was a master's pool or the final four or or football or whatever it is so the year i won our um college basketball bracket i literally filled mine out i think it was like 10 or 15 minutes before the first game and i did it in like 10 seconds so that's kind of been my my thing that i do now is i just fill it out as fast as i can without thinking at all and, that's uh, the so, formula. That's yeah, what we were talking four about earlier. Days to fill mine out. Yeah, I so hate I've, that you can do that. And you're I, I've gone like one, one for 15. So that <laughs> one that I won, I think it's like the magic touch. You know, I don't remember the other 14 uh, blowouts that I had. <laughs> they didn't but. happen. Hmm. We might have to get like a video or something of Braden like filling out his random bracket and then be like, that's how it's done. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we all tail it. it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going UConn. If you missed my final four earlier, UConn, Arizona, Purdue and Marquette, one and two seeds all around. All I'm thinking about is, is, I don't know if he still does it, the Warren Buffett, he was offering the billion dollars if you filled out a perfect bracket. I'm like, man, this could be my year, yeah. the billion dollars. And then within minutes, it's gone, <laughs> yeah. within minutes. So on that same note, while we got Braden in studio today, we got a month left, exactly about a month left in the NHL season, and the standings are kind of filling out. We're kind of starting to see who's going to make it, who's not. If you had to give me your final four for the Stanley Cup, two in the East, Two in the West. Who's your final four, Braden? That's good. Yeah, great question. So it's going to depend a little bit on where the Lightning finish because I have the Lightning in the top, in the final four. Um, really? I do. I do. I love it. I do. Um, I think that coming out of the East, the teams that I'm really paying attention to are obviously, as I mentioned, the Lightning, the Panthers, and the Rangers. Those are the three teams that I'm kind of keeping an eye out on the in the East Conference. That's why it was a great measuring stick to get those wins against both those teams. Yeah, and in the West, and West is tough, but you know, Colorado's got a team that it's just they seem to be playoff time. They'll come up and play their best hockey. I like the way Edmonton's showing up, and I like the Winnipeg Jets. Um, I think they have a gritty playoff kind of. Hardened team that's uh, and a good goaltender. I think you, playoff time, Connor Hellebuck, he's a heck of a goalie. So those are kind of, I know you asked for four, but that's maybe six. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, that's awesome. So we got about a month left in the NHL season. We were talking about earlier Aaron Donald retiring and people celebrating his greatness and everything. So I want to ask Braden, since we're part of the blender here and he's Blue Steel Tuesday and it up with us. So I want to <laughs> ask you, Braden, was there a guy? In your time in the NHL, that was like Aaron Donald, that had a reputation like Aaron Donald. You knew that he was going to wreck your game plan. You had to game plan the entire night around him, or you knew you were going to lose. Was there somebody like that in your time in the NHL? I, I don't know. Like, so he was. He's such a physically dominating guy. I feel like in the NHL, there's not there's not that big a discrepancy uh, physically amongst the guys. But you know, when when Ovechkin, he's one of those guys that. He just what if he got mad or mean enough like he was like I don't know I don't how I think he was like 250 pounds of just like kind of like a an absolute cannonball out there and he had a shot that you know I when I was think I was 17 he he broke my finger um, when we were playing junior hockey together and he he and he hit you and you just all of a sudden the next day you're like feeling it in your ribs and both your shoulders and you're just like man this guy's just a he's a machine out there so. He's one of those guys, and especially when you know he was in his prime and really, really physical player. He was a guy that uh, he was hard to handle. Who was the worst pest around the net? Around the net? Yeah. Like, who was just a pest? Like, I always remember when Yanni Gord was a part of this team. He was just such a pest. Who Was there ever that guy you're like, oh, my God, this guy again? 
Yeah, so the Detroit Red Wings, they had a Holmstrom. bunch of... Holmstrom. Holmstrom, yes. Thank That's you. where I was going. Thank you. You could do... And he was like kind of from the old school where they used to take basically the, like the scissors stick and when the guy was facing and they just ride your stick up and down the guy's spine like an accordion kind of thing, you know? <laughs> and he had that done to him probably for 12, 14 years before I showed up. And then I'm starting to do it to him. And he's just like, dude, I used to do this when the guys had wood sticks. You know, your, your little graphite sticks, nothing for he me. But just parked it there all night. And he could take just an absolute, like, he could take, he could take your business. Yeah. And, and you, whatever you did, he just hopped back up. He would, like, give you a shot and just stand back in front of the goalie. And it was very frustrating as a defenseman, guys that do that and have that kind of tenacity. All right, fellas, we're in the middle of the NFL offseason, so we got signings going on, we got retirements, all this stuff. I don't know if you all saw this, but Leighton Van Der Esch, he's only 28 years old. He's calling his retirement. He made the Pro Bowl, was a second-team All-Pro. He was a 19th overall pick in 2018, and here's what he quote-unquote says about his retirement. He's proud he played for the Cowboys, and he says, I cherished every moment of my NFL career. It has been such a blessing to play the game as long as I have played, but his body won't cooperate any longer. So let me ask you this, Braden. Was there a moment when you were in the NHL towards the end of your career where you thought this to yourself and didn't necessarily come out and say it, my body won't cooperate anymore? Yeah, that's, that's uh, you know, I, I can definitely relate to him. And uh, I was lucky enough to play into my 30s. But, you know, near the end of my career, the last year, I just remember finishing a practice and, and my hip felt so bad almost every day that I'm looking at my skate and I'm thinking, I cannot bend down on my left side to untie my skates. And I'm like, you know, you're almost kind of, you're almost welling up inside a little bit, just kind of understanding that realization that that's, you know, this is this is probably the end. And you're sneaking off into the training room and asking one of the trainers to untie your skates because you're just at that shoes. point. So, I'm it, not it, an athlete. It, do, you, a, do you sneak into the training room here so nobody sees no, it? It's just like, oh, man, I you, wish Nick, I could. Nick just slipped. That's you, why I wear my Crocs off, dude. Yeah, you're just like, I'm going <laughs> slip-ons from now on. And no slip-on skates. But, yeah, it's as an athlete, when when the body gives out like that, uh, it's 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 a tough feeling. And so I, I can definitely relate to maybe some of the stuff that he's feeling and the frustration of um, just having your body quit cooperating. And when you have neck injuries like Van Der Esch mm-hmm. has dealt with, multiple neck injuries, in yeah. that position in that league nah it's not good yeah and it wasn't bad for me but i know a lot of guys when they've retired they're in pain you know they're they're waking up in the morning they're getting their kids out of the out of the out to the door to school and then they're coming home and they're like i'm just like sore all the time and they're months removed from playing and they're just laying on the couch and i i know guys like that i've known guys that are same age as me with double hip replacements and, and it's just so listen the game is worth it I, I will always say it's been a, a life well lived, and I would not trade. Just as he said, I would not trade um, what I'm feeling now for for anything. I I'm feel extremely fortunate, but it does take a toll on you. Yeah, well said there by Braden Coburn. It's Blue Steel Tuesday. That's all we got from the blender from the penalty box. Back to y'all, fine fellas. Great stuff, Casey Warner, as always. And I do want to remind people it's going to be great on Friday as Ronnie and T. Kraz are going to be out at uh, Oak and Stone UTC. J. Uh, Sorry, Zach Blobner's going to be there, too. I believe Jay's got the day off. But starting at noon, Oak and Stone, UTC. It's off University Parkway. If you haven't been there, beautiful little area. Skip work. Come hang out. Oak and Stone, UTC, 95.3 WDA and AM 620. And we will wrap things up on the other side. The Lightning in action on the West Coast. They're out in Vegas tonight taking on the Golden Knights at 10 o'clock. We'll wrap things up. Braden Coburn in studio at Braden Coburn 55 on social media. And Nick Wise is here, too. DAE traffic update. A wreck on eastbound Hillsborough Avenue near the Veterans Expressway. Southbound Veterans jammed up from south of Gun Highway to the Courtney Campbell Causeway and big delays on the eastbound side of Gandy Boulevard and the bridge towards South Tampa. Earlier vehicle fire. That car still blocks the right hand lane near the hump. Use the Howard Franklin instead. Southbound 75 slow in Manatee County from 275 to 301. Disabled trailer in the left hand lane near the construction. Area with traffic of Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. 
Hi, I'm David Moss. When it comes to purchasing a vehicle, Moss Nissan is simply the best around, just like our Tampa hockey team. When Nikita Kucherov needed a car, he knew where to come. That's right, David. We have one of the largest selections of vehicles in the Tampa Bay area, and every vehicle is equipped with Moss Care, which gives you added benefits and features such as lifetime oil changes, roadside assistance, and much, much more. Visit us to experience the Moss difference. Moss Nissan, whatever it takes. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 19th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of ED by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Let's put an end to ED. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 19th. 813-219-1919. Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon and easy. Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data, $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan, at an amazing price with no contracts. Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean, Totalmente. find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. John Howard, Howard Team Home Loans .com. Don't let anyone put your VA loan in the penalty box. Go on the power play with me instead. I can close your loan in 21 days. I have great rates and I pay for your appraisal. Find out more at howardteamhomeloans.com. Lower LLC NMLS 1124061. Equal housing opportunity. Terms and conditions apply. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person, the insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This report is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. At Progressive, they're making things even easier. They'll help you bundle your home and car insurance together so you can save on both. Learn more at Progressive.com or 1-800-PROGRESSIVE. That's Progressive.com or 1-800-PROGRESSIVE. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today and mostly cooler as well. Our high will only hit around 72. Overnight, clear skies. Our low will dip back to 49. Tomorrow, Wednesday, sunny again. Our highs a little higher, right around 77. Live and local, talking about your teams as only we can. Th 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 this is WDAE on your radio and streaming live on the iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Wrapping things up on the Pat and Aaron Show, Nick Wise has been hanging out. Braden Coburn, as he does every Tuesday, is here. And if you miss any of the show, you can check us out. We are on YouTube, but you can go to the iHeartRadio app. And you can download it for free. And anything you miss, Casey Warner does a great job of putting it up there. All right, tonight, the Lightning out in Vegas, taking on the Golden Knights at 10 o'clock. Got to have a fast start, Kobe. Got to get off to a fast start. Yeah, absolutely. Vegas is one of those teams that they start well at home. They're a good home team. So I just, I just, I'm, I'm encouraged that what's kind of the direction the team's going right now. So I'm looking for uh, a great game tonight. It's going to be exciting to see. Yeah, that's going to be, once again, 10 o'clock. And then just before that, I'm glad tonight's the perfect night for it to be at 10 o'clock because the madness is upon us. <laughs> We've got the great Wagner taking on Howard in the playing game at 640. So uh, get your brackets ready. Are you boys ready to go? Are you going to fill out a bracket even though you wait to the last minute? No, Kobe? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll print one out uh, this afternoon. I'll, be, I'll, do, I'll, I'll send it to Casey or I'll send it to you. Yes, let us All send right. that to us. Uh, Nick, are you ready for today? I'm ready for today. <sighs> okay. I'm waiting a year for today. I'm excited. I know there, there could be some tears. One 
thing that we talked about, Nick and I prepped for, we didn't really get to it today, and it made me think of it again when you brought it up in the last segment, Kobe, a little bit different, because you're a player, when you're talking about the end of your career kind of welling up a little bit inside, knowing that it's getting towards the end. So as a player, I'm sure you've had tears on the ice for many different reasons. Never. Never. No. Never. Maybe when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Oh, as a, that's, I'm going to be interested to hear your take on this. As a sports fan, I wonder how many people, and I asked this question on Twitter over the weekend or last week, have you ever cried from a sporting event, whether it be sad tears because your team lost, happy tears because they won? Has it? Has your emotion ever been brought to that level from a sporting event? You're a professional athlete, so it's a little bit of a different perspective, but it's what makes sports so fun for the fan is that it can bring out that type of emotion for people. I think when I was with Philly in 2010 and Tampa in 2015, when we lost to the Chicago Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup final, it wasn't um, it wasn't emotion like I thought I was going to cry. There was just I felt like there was so much rage inside my body that like I felt like there was just steam coming out of my ears. And I, I you don't I, rage cry, no rage cries, but I I was just so angry and just everything inside because you just have this feeling like. I never, you knew how hard it was to get to that point. You, you play the whole season and then, and then playoffs, as you guys can, as you guys can, you know, playoffs is such a grind. It is just an absolute war. And then get to that close and not be able to finish the job. It's just something inside just wants, you just want to go into one of those, uh, the, the rage rooms where you just like take a hammer and just start <laughs> breaking stuff. Like I could have spent hours in those places and it probably wouldn't have dissipated any, any of the thing I was feeling. It, it was, it was weeks. It was almost the whole summer of just feeling like, oh, my God, I just I can't believe that we let that slip through our fingers. We get that as fans. Rage. Yeah. On a break But things. we're fans. Yeah. And, then, and then that's where I, and Nick, I want to know if you've ever done this, but Kobe, when you see, and, and for us, you know, from a radio, we're doing our job, you know, but people look at us, you know, we're, we're not as... You know, we're different. Our, our jobs being in radio is a little bit different from the everyday job. When you as a player see the emotion that comes out of fans for you, let's say it's for your team, are you like, wow, I love that passion? Or are you like, that's a little bizarre? I think it's it, it lets you know as a player, like, hey, we are on the same page. You know, we're pulling for the same thing. You guys want it just as much as we want it. The only advantage and the thing that probably separates us is that we can do something about it when we're on the ice. You can control it. You can control it. And when you don't, when you're not in the driver's seat and you can't control it, that's probably when it's the most frustrating. And I, that's, that's a and really I, good and point. I totally yeah. understand when fans get frustrated or mad or, or get super emotional about it because you're just kind of, you're not in that spot. And that's why sometimes you'll see like superstitions, you know, like, Hey, you know, like I remember my grandma, she had to drink a Smirnoff ice every time <laughs> we were playing the game. Cause she, she felt like it was good luck. And if, she wasn't doing it. The one time she didn't do it, we didn't win that game. So, it, sounds like you know, an excuse to drink. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> but wonderful lady. Uh, but you know, she. Uh, but I think fans have that sort of thing where they have like they try to control what they control, and then when fans come into the building, they want to be part of that energy, and they feel like that energy helps the players. Which actually, when you're there, it does for sure, absolutely, hundred percent. Nick, how many tears have you shed over your your fandom? All right, so one recently that I do remember, it was 2021. A huge Michigan fan. Ohio State always kicked our ass every single year. When Michigan finally won, my wife, I remember she FaceTimed me because she was watching it somewhere else. She FaceTimed me. She's like, are you happy? And she's like, are you crying? And I'm like, let me let me call you back. I'm just so happy right now. I, I need a minute to myself here. Like, it was just a relief, right? Like, your favorite team, you invest so much into them. Year in, year out, they lose. They finally get over that hump and they win that game. It was just, it was tears of joy. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah, I think people are built up. You see coaches sometimes get super emotional and they're on the podium. And you know, it, it's it's just, I think it's just how, the makeup of some people. I, I think they just, that's just how they are. And that's, they wear their emotions on their sleeve like that. And other people keep it a little bit more or are incapable of crying. I don't know. Yeah, well, you said as a kid, um, you, you remember crying as a kid. I, I don't. I remember, not as an adult, but I think it was like 97 or 98. You probably could help me with this, Nick. The Lions beat the Jets to in the regular season, the last game of the season. That was, that was Barry Sanders yep. uh, when he hit 2,000 yards. Yeah, I think it was 97. Yeah, it was. And I remember I was like six years old, and I remember just for some reason my brother and I were hysterically crying, <laughs> and my parents were like, 
it was bath time. And I just remember being in the bath and just like tears streaming down my face as my parents were trying to clean me. A man was paralyzed in that game. Did you cry for that or no? Just the Jets. That was very sad. But the Jets is what stood out in my mind, yes. What I see sometimes from players that do get emotional is that it's just the realization that that group that you had, that special group, they they come to the kind of the conclusion that this is not going to be the same ever again. You know, the next year we know that there's team got players move on to different teams, free agency guys leave, new guys are coming in. So it's kind of like that final kind of realization that this group is not going to be together again. And I think it kind of overwhelms some people sometimes. It's like the last day of uh, summer camp. I used to cry every last day of summer <laughs> camp. That's right. Wasn't going to see my boys for 10 months. Oh, look at you. The camaraderie. Uh, all right. 10 o'clock tonight, Tampa Bay Lightning. Tough uh, road trip out west after coming off a good. I was in New York, uh, Kobe, last yep. week. I was there Thursday in New York when the Lightning played the Rangers. They were in Tampa Bay. But we were at a bar. Me, Jay Retcher, Zach Blobner, John Mamola. They were not playing the Ranger game in this bar in New York City. We're in Manhattan. We're a couple blocks from the Garden, and this game was nowhere to be found on TV. What was on TV? Well, college hoops. Okay. College hoops. I guess you kind of get an excuse there. But. I, I don't know. I, I just, as soon as I, that's how I pick my bars is like, is there hockey on? You know, if there's not, I'll, I'll go somewhere else. Do you want the sound on at the bar with the hockey game, or do you want music? We had this debate yesterday. It depends who's doing the game. Oh, that's, the, Nick. that's literally what I said. I said, I want whatever Jim Nance is calling, put it on TV. Wow, that's great. We'll end on that note. <laughs> At Braden Coburn 55, make sure you check out the Block Party, the Hall of Fame show. It's going to drop tomorrow. That's going to be a great one. Kobe, always love having you in. Really appreciate you coming in. Amazing. Thanks, guys. And uh, I'll send you the bracket. I'm sure it's the winner. Yeah, send me your winner. We'll all be tailing uh, Braden Coburn. Nick Wise, thank you for sitting in today. Make sure you check out Nick Wise on Saturdays with Chris Mathis. Great job, Casey Warner, for the men and women who defend our country and make it possible for us to do this for a living. We love you. We thank you. Fill out those brackets. Go get them, goons. Have a good day. Don't miss a minute of the Pat and Aaron Show. Head to the Pat and Aaron Show blog at 953WDAE.com and stream 953WDAE on the free iHeartRadio app or on your Alexa. Just say Alexa Play 953WDAE on iHeartRadio. Stay, stay tuned. The Dan Patrick Show is next. Live, Live on 953WDAE and AM620. A fraction of a raindrop. Three grains of salt add up to 100 times more potent than morphine. The tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers this weekend. Takori and Viraggio are here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viraggio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest finance. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viraggio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening this Friday through Sunday exclusively at International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota on approved credit. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and skip the hassles of a traditional home sale. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and I'm here with my friend Mark Spain. And Mark, how does the guaranteed offer make selling a home stress-free? The guaranteed offer is simple and stress-free because it's all cash, which means that you don't have a buyer sitting in limbo hoping to get a loan. You don't have a home inspection after you go under contract with somebody coming in and making you or asking you to make costly repairs. It's real simple. It's all cash. You choose your closing date, typically within 21 days, and you move on to the next chapter of your life. It's the easiest, stress-free way to sell your home today. 
which is why we created the program. With nearly 11,000 five-star reviews, you can trust the most experienced real estate team in the U.S. to sell your home stress-free with the strongest cash offer in the industry. Their guaranteed offer keeps you in control. Find out what the guaranteed offer would be on your home today. There's no obligation. Just go to MarkSpain.com for that guaranteed offer. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. Spring is sprung for the used car market, and that means full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. If you're looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV, GiveMeTheVin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. They want to buy your vehicle right now. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com, put in your VIN number, just a few pictures, and get ready. GiveMeTheVin.com, they offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. It is easy to do. Check them out. GiveMeTheVin.com. That's GiveMeTheVin.com, and get your check on the spot. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. Some things in life you can just rely on, like the comfy fit of a favorite pair of jeans and the tried and true performance of a new AC system from Rude. So here's to reliability, built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rude Pro Partner. Go to RudeACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rude Pro Partner today. That's RudeACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Open the free iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app, where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Portions of the following program were pre recorded. We're the most trusted voices in Tampa Bay sports. Call home. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg. 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM. W-